Cruzimos Espa and my DeLorean. War's over, I'm a peacetime Mandalorian. The story of Stump, Star Wars historians, deep in debate, buffet plate at Burnagan. Sounds part like this. I'm a rhyme <laughs> renegade, sure to penetrate first to second defense. I won't hesitate, got a job to do when Darst the guy that delegates. Got something against Skywalker, someone he really hates. I don't give a hello and welcome to Arkham Horror. I'm your host, Flip. Oh, this is. <laughs> Amazing. Anyways, yes, uh, <laughs> last time we did some stuff. Uh, we fought some red gloved people because we hate that fashion statement. We're the fashion mm. police and we say no. Oh, I just realized I'm wearing a red t shirt right now. Get him! Get him! <laughs> <Just get tackled. laughs> That's illegal. Um, All right. So yeah. let's go over our deck changes first, shall we? Yes. I have added a scavenging. And I oh, took out man. a scavenging. My new scavenging lets me play the card. Uh, I think that's okay. the only change. Oh, and it's got an extra book icon. Yeah. Is that, is that well, being able to play it is good enough, usually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I also added a checkbox. You can see this one has no checkbox. This one has a checkbox. This uh, is so unnecessary. <laughs> There's no reason in order to keep a blank. This is my previous checkbox. Yeah. Uh, so the new checkbox is that my research papers don't take up any hand slots when I play the Raven Quill onto the research papers. Nice. So it's it's not like perfect. This Eye of Ravens. You yeah. stole it from me. <laughs> I did. And I can once, once uh, around uh, shift it in order to get plus six or no no have a skill value equal to six and then flip it to its unstable side and then i can draw an encounter thing to put it back over to its stable side sounds great hopefully there's nothing Meanwhile. that cares about unstable thingies i just realized well, we'll see because then you'll Keys. just yeah i mean like you kind of want to draw encounter cards because then you could be like oh the proof is in the pudding flash <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay. Uh, so I went ahead and kept my upgrades a little basic. I removed my analysis here and got a second Jessica Hyde, and I just turned my backpacks into upgraded backpacks, taking advantage of geared up some more. So what does your upgraded backpack do? Your upgraded backpack looks at the top 12 cards, double as many, and you can also throw and your also backpack at people. it one instead of two. Oh, and you can throw your backpack at people for fists now because it's full of extra stuff. Well, that'll that'll be a desperate move if that's ever the case. Let's go ahead and shuffle these in. I mean, you might want to do it instead of playing. Like, if you already have a backpack that's got cool stuff in. Indeed. All right. Uh, and I believe where we last were, we last left off traveling the world. And before we started this video, we were just completely in disagreement about all the places to visit. Yeah. <laughs> So we just we decided, and by we decided, I forced Tao into choosing Bermuda. Yeah. So instead of this being a democracy where we help each other, no, no, it is now a dictator. You're like, you know what? This I'm is, dropping this, this facade. Is one of them this isn't a democracy. Democtatorships. Yeah. Mm, okay. So Bermuda first, which means we go to 20e. Does that mean we flip to page 20? I think that's 20e. I'm going to page 20. Okay. Yep, it is uh, page 20. Yeah, okay. We go, we go to page 20. The Great uh, Walk. The Great Walk. <laughs> There's oh, a yeah. massive for walk so, here. For whatever reason, the the campaign guide for Scarlet Keys is a little small, so I, I made it bigger. All right. You uh I'll go well, I'll go ahead and read this just in case there's some voices and then you can do your hilariously awful voice. <laughs> okay. Uh, the brilliant sandy beaches and azure water dazzle your senses as you arrive in Bermuda proper. Rows of brightly painted homes add to the eye-popping landscape as you travel from one corner of Bermuda, of Bermuda Island to the other, asking locals for any possible leads on coterie activity. We have no idea who Twiley Masai is, so we're going to Great Work 5. 
Okay. Uh, you are almost relieved that your questioning goes nowhere. The lack of coterie activity in Bermuda gives you an unlikely chance to rest and recuperate. Just for a moment, you need only to concern yourself with the peaceful stillness of the island. With several days remaining until your next departure, you follow the recommendation of the concierge at your hotel and take the time to explore the crystal caves up near the northern end of the island. Your guide is missing an arm. They illuminate dancing patterns in the darkness with their flashlight as they tell you about the story of how the caves were found. You ask them how they lost their arm. <laughs> oh, uh, I served in the Great War. This is the Bermuda accent, people. They tell you. <laughs> Sometimes peace comes at great cost. All right, we start with one additional cards in our opening hand. Nice. We can remute to Bermuda again during this campaign, but only after playing another scenario and we may embark. Okay, so that cost uh, us one time. I believe We're going to spend scroll. another time. Let me make sure here. Some locations marked by da-da-da. Yeah, traveling. It looks like we use a time every time. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, so now we have to decide. Are we going to go to visited location? Yeah. Are we going to go to Anchorage? We pass by Arkham. This won't cost us any time unless we do a site scenario, but I don't think we should. Um, and, or we can go to, like, Ybor City, Havana. Anchor. What do you think? Uh, I think we should go to Anchorage. Why? Uh, the reason why is because back when we were looking at the different things, in Anchorage, it said perhaps the site of a key. And so I want to... Perhaps the site of a key, sir? So I okay, wanted to get um... another, another key. Which would okay, be cool. I agree with you then. Uh, let's... What, what What's here? They found... Uh, Procured the journal of a prospector recently working in Anchorage. All right, fine. Let's go to, let's go to freaking Anchorage. All right, that's page uh, so that's page thirty-three. Thirty-three. Okay. Um, you may read this dossier at any time. Subject: Class Yellow. Uh, description. Real identity unknown. Last known location: Anchorage, Alaska. Description: Thirty number thirty-three K. Here and after Thorn is a tall, gaunt person with androgynous features and fair complexion. Prefers practical, loose-fitting clothing. Subject appears to be alive and conjectured to be far older than they appear. Collaborating sources suggest date of birth in 1900. Subject <laughs> wears a distinct red cravat around their neck, often obscuring their face. Peridimensional capabilities. Subject possesses acute sensitivity to peanuts. Code no, to loud ducks. I'll read the black stuff. <laughs> Code releverages these capabilities to locate uh i don't know <laughs> big <laughs> artifacts and track movement of migratory geese sightings numerous <laughs> sightings across the globe profiled as one of the most mobile coterie members despite notorious wait what numerous sightings across the globe profiled as one of the most co mobile coterie members okay there i didn't see the period there despite notorious secrecy thorn has a reputation for appraising and acquiring old video game consoles Analysis suggests they are amenable to building exchange and or to business exchange and receptive to haggling. Recent activity suggests Coterie is in a state of I don't know, you say it. Disrepair. Approach disrepair. procedure. <laughs> you and Thorne likely have similar objectives. Extreme caution suggested. Thorne is likely to negotiate, but only on their terms. Well, you're reading this and you're like, this doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> yeah, if you're just listening to this, um anytime something sounded a little off, it was because it was sense word. Zen so who would be listening to this? I don't know. People turn on long videos you only just and just check into your lodge and encourage when you receive an unmarked package. Agents. Oh, this we is have... this is Russian, right? Is <laughs> you it? can't uh, we have lost contact with several operatives in Central Alaska in recent weeks, likely due to cultural activities. One operative was looking into a possible lead, a lens with apparent paradimensional capabilities. This is mine. You don't get the lens. Uh, <laughs> Enclosed is the Journal of Prospector Rhett Landry, currently institutionalized at Morningside Santator Sanatorium in Oregon. Sanatorium. That's where all the Santas go after Christmas. Sanatoriums. <laughs> acquired at all costs. I love that we made a Russian, even though it clearly says she had a British <laughs> accent. She got a British a accent. Day I am from a different part of Britain. <laughs> <laughs> Which is mostly compressed. <laughs> Nobody's heard of the Russian part of Britain. <laughs> Uh, comprised of wildlife sketches and notes on mining. However, the final entry is chilling. You can read this one. October the 14th, 1923. <laughs> Tonight I bury that accursed lens where I found it. 
I dared not commit my thoughts to the page after finding it, but I have nothing to lose now. While surveying the new branch in the mine, I found a curious lens buried in the rock. It was opaque and emanated a beguiling light. Holding it made me feel special, as if I had been chosen. Looking through it, I saw incredible plants, creatures, people, structures, in a strange, otherworldly landscape. A world beyond our own. A world that should exist. A dark reflection of our own. A haven for lost objects. Lost memories. The lens, the sable glass, is the mirror that shows the truth of this other world. How foolish was I to think I could use the lens for my own gain. The more I looked at the other world, the more the other world looked back. By peering into the glass, I must have called something. Some awful, nameless creature. Charles, through. More and more of my fellow prospectors went missing in the woods and erased from memory. My companions, my possessions, my home, all were swallowed by the strange creature I glimpsed in the sable glass. And now, when I look through it, I can see them there in that other place. The creature that stalks the woods is made of nothing, and yet it met, yet it is many things, constantly shifting, ever changing. It has the traits of many animals, like a chimera, from old myths. I tried to hunt it using the sable glass, but looking at it made my head spin. After surveying the area, I set a trap, and I thought I killed one of its forms, a great lupine, thing that howled and dissipated into nothingness. But when I returned to the camp the next day, it had struck the camp. The, cr the cramp. Oh, man, my, my mouth is cramping from this voice. It's so bad. My companions have vanished from my memory and space. The authorities say I should be it's not his memory or space. Specifically from my memory and from my personal space. The authorities say I should be locked up. My only hope is to set things right, to put the sable glass back where I found it. Perhaps then everything will be right again. Next to the journal entry is an array of dark scratches, which you had assumed were nervous scribbles. However, given Landry's account, you wonder if it isn't his attempt to sketch the creature. The next day, you search, you launch a search for any records of Mr. Landry's gold mine, starting with the prospecting permissions in Anchorage City Hall and the local library. After a day of fruitless research, you still cannot find an official permit or record of a mine connected to Rhett Landry. As you return to the lodge that evening, you spot a tall, willowy figure with a distinctive red cravat standing next with to a packed sledge. Well met. The figure greets you with a self-satisfied smile. This is the voice of, of like the evil dude. Well met. You must be the troublemakers everyone's talking about. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm Thorn. They extend a confident hand to shake yours. If you're here, I can only assume it's for the same reason as I. Keep a weather eye out. It's supposed to be quite cold near Fairbanks. May the best one win. Thorn winks at you, then mounts the sled. You, your heart goes doki doki. <laughs> you wonder if <laughs> no, sorry. You wonder if Thorn's reference to Fairbanks was clever misdirection or a friendly hint. After asking around the lodge, an attendant opens up about your rival's preparations. I was confused at first until it became clear they were asking about something in tribal territory. You don't need a permit to prospect out there. After some more questioning, you have a good sense of Thorn's direction and the location of the mine. Uh, Read only, only if the investigator... Wayfarer? Uh, well, no, not, neither of us are Wayfarers, right? I'm a reporter. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a medic. Anyway, <laughs> before you head out, you ask for directions from a local... No, 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 you, you, you only read the... Oh, you only read that part. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Before but... you head out, you ask for directions from a local member of the tribe that owns the territory where you think the mine could be. They are wary of more meddling from outsiders and also concerned for your safety. Given the recent trouble with prospectors on their land, you explain you aren't interested in gold and are researching the strange case of Mr. Landry. For good measure, you show them the prospector's journal and the strange etchings inside. This seems to buy you some trust, and a tribe member offers some directions. Be especially careful crossing the river this time of year. They tell you. <laughs> aren't it's... they supposed to have Alaskan accents? It's easy to lose your way, and even easier to fall through the ice. You'll catch your death out there if you aren't careful. Come with me, citizen. Come with me. And then he flew away. <laughs> okay, so we're, uh, okay, 33. So 
this is one of the first ones we're going to be showing where we don't have all the setup ready. But Arkham is amazing, and you just press a button, and almost everything's ready. So we put it all in. We shuffle that. Put and each... you don't know put the play adjacent. Okay, so I think I might have done that already. Oh no, wait. Here we go. Three and one, two. Three. Oh, it said, it said put the three the button. three remaining ones aside. Out oh, of us. yeah. Oop. Out of play. Hold on. Okay. The three remaining outer wilderness locations. Are those outer wilderness locations? Can we pause the recording? Yes. I need this little play. And we're back. Here. What? Nothing. Wait, anyway. Why did you get rid of my uh, thing? You don't need it. I need it for Daryl. <laughs> All right. Um, let's read the agenda and act because we're at a new place. Uh, yeah. Uh, the prospector. Lost journal... and forgotten. <laughs> the prospector's journal described a horrifying predator. Some call the thing stuck in the woods a beast. Some call it a spirit, and others know it as a shapeshifter. Describing the thing seems to fill each witness with a primal, unspeakable terror. Oh man, uh, that guy's approaching... I don't know, a bunch of... <laughs> like, oh my idea. god, it's abstract art! Kill it! <laughs> he has a spear, you're right! <laughs> um, quest for the Sable Glass... You should read it with the prospect. Thorn may have st started in this. Thorn search. May, have had, may have had a head start in their search for the sable glass. But you have something they don't. Ritz Landry's journals. All plural. If you could reach the prospector's gold mine before the coterie, you might be able to keep the key out of their hands. Our objective is that only investigators in that thar gold mine may spend the requisite clues as a group to advance. We need six, and we need to go to the gold mines. Gotcha. I we told him there was Anchorage. gold in them our hills. Anchorage bustles with excitement brought on by the gold rush. Almost every street you walk down has a new facade under construction. The sheer number of rugged pioneer folk walking the streets make you feel out of place in your everyday clothes. Uh, choose a set-aside hollow. Its owner draws it. Okay, so cards can cards can be hollowed. We yeah. have one. Res <laughs> I thought Lasker was supposed to be nice this time of year. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is really funny for some reason. I thought Alaska was supposed to be nice this time of year. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's draw opening hands now, shall we? Uh, sure. And... Oh, shoot. Hold on. My hand is messed up. Let me Your hand change is messed that. Up. You have to bring the hand all the way up. Oh yeah, because you I reset. What you do for that sort of thing? Uh, I believe it's in configuration and then interface and then miscellaneous settings and then I hand minimize uh, size. No hand minimize size. There we go. There we go. We're good. Yep. Although I am going to pause um, the recording anyway. again here. All right, we have returned. We have remembered that we have to draw an extra card. Oh, look drawn... at you drawing a card underneath short supply. Yeah, it's like I'm some sort of card shark. Um, probably don't need that yet. That's good early. That's good early. Probably don't need those. I'll read you all five cards. All five cards, you said. Well, I mean, I'm keeping one. Ooh. And before I forget... Well, let's reveal where we're at here. We're in Anchored. We already did that. Good. We don't draw any encounter cards. I'm shuffling the encounter deck. Mm -hmm. And I think that's everything, right? So yep. I can just discard one, two, yeah, three, four, five, yeah, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm at a crossroads. Oh, you want to let I'm me draw just... some cards? No, I'm going to draw the cards because I have no actions this turn. <laughs> um, the Chosen Investor me... loses one action during their next turn. But it's not my turn yet. <laughs> so, I can draw three cards for free, basically. Oh, I forgot but, to Wait, this them. is a then, though, isn't it? So that means you and have... I did it. I did it before... Um... Uh, our turns begin because it's a revelation effect. But yeah, but this, this no 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 this, this happens. Loses one action during their next turn. Then draws three cards. 
Yes. But this says during this turn you have three fewer actions to take. So you don't have any actions. You can't lose an action from this. Doesn't that mean you don't draw the cards because it's a then? No, I believe I looked it up. Um, at a crossroads and geared up, I believe at a crossroads itself still activates, uh, and then I get to just draw three cards at no cost. That's why I included it. I'll believe you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll go first, I guess. Uh, sure. I got my okay. So shuffle and then draw three cards because of out of crossroads. Okay. Well, there's a wounded bystander already in play. Oh man. Uh, we're in just Anchorage, Alaska, and you just like, are walking around. This guy's like, oh, my God, my house just exploded. <laughs> Anyways, uh, for my I get to play as many item assets during it. So first action, let's play a backpack. Oh, this is the perfect Actually, threat area to oh, put costs... him in, too, because it's like bleeding coming out of there. Bleeding coming out of there. Hmm. All right. So let's search the top 12 for items or supplies. I'll grab you, you. I sadly didn't find my other backpack, but I can still take advantage of a couple things. For one resource, let's throw down Shoffner's catalog. Then let's spend one of those to play my hollowed mirror. Take one of these, shuffle these two in. Oh, speaking of which, I uh, start with two physical trauma, you which do, is really good for me. You do start with um, that, yeah. Second, I'm going to spend one and play bandages. And then lastly, I'm going to use up the rest of Schaffner's catalog and play my rel runic axe. Okay. It... And your backpack oh. explodes? It does explode. <laughs> there goes Schaffner's catalog. Okay. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't play runic axe. My bad. Um, I'm going right. to keep... I'm going to keep it under my backpack for now because I actually want to play. In which case, I saw a different card besides Runic Axe. Um, I'm going to grab the other one because I... You already... Okay. Oh, wait. What are my on-the-mens doing in my deck? That's weird. I don't know. Well, that was definitely a mistake that I wasn't noticing. Uh, but I saw my uh, Bone Saw instead. I was thinking of not playing it, but I'll play this instead which means I have one left because I'm going to spend one and play this archive of conduits. Um, limit once uh, after you, as an additional cost, place a resource on four different locations as ley lines. So I'm going to place one on our current location. Please save me. Well, I mean, I don't need you to save me a clue, but I'm going to put these here and try to finish the archives of conduits this, this game. Okay, that is my turn done now. Why, why do I need to save you clues for that? What does that do? Uh, after I successfully investigate. You don't need to save me the clue, but I'm going to investigate those locations, and I have to succeed. So, Move that I mean, I need line. to get them anyways. Okay. This upgrades into a card that I can use to heal, which I really want. Okay, Dolky. Oh, and then my Schaffner's catalog is gone now. Okay, now <laughs> I'm set for real. You got four more dollars to spend. Uh, but I have no more items. Okay. Um, my turn. Okay. I, I'm gonna play some things. Maybe is this an item? This is an item. That's great. Can I play this even without? No, I can't. So, for my first action, I'm going to spend uh two dollars for an empirical hypothesis, and then I will spend two dollars for a Schaffner's catalog. Hey. Uh, we'll put that over there. Um, and then until I say otherwise, I'm always going to say succeed by three or more. It's just, it's just going to be how okay. It is. Also, just to make sure, you're, the recording's still happening, right? Uh, yes, we are recording. Um, time is moving. Uh, I'm not there muted. Been, I, I'm asking this times, because yes. there have definitely been times. For sure. <laughs> there have been times where we forgot. Yes. For sure. Okay. Uh, sure, supply can just go away. Uh, my last action will be to investigate, I guess. Yeah, might as well. 5v2. Failed. What a shame. Uh, upkeep for both of us. Okay. Okay, and then... Do one, one, of, one seven. of seven. And you're the lead investigator in this one, I believe. 
Uh, so I draw an encounter. <gasps> when this engages you, look at the top card of your deck. If it's not a weakness, set it aside as a hollow. Um, okay, so my <laughs> my smoking pipe has become hollowed. Oh, no. Uh, sure. My encounter card. Paradigm Effaker. Effaker. It's aloof. It's a hunter. And when you turn, uh, after you end your turn at its location, look top card of your deck. If it's not a weakness, set aside as a hollow. Then if you own three or more set aside hollow, it attacks you. Okay. So we have to kill this thing if possible. Okay. Uh, and then this thing is a uh, aloof. Okay. So we, we can run away from it for now while you deal with this guy. I'll try to fight him. So I'll go first. Sure. Um, since I have to fight, I guess. I want to... Uh, whatever, whatever. Okay. You can uh, first action, him. I'm gonna use. Yeah, I'm gonna use my bone saw against this guy. I'm fighting with a plus two, so it's a five against a three. Um, yep. I have a stunning blow. I'll use it. I'm gonna commit a stunning blow to this. Six against three. Hiya! I did it. I'm going to take a damage to deal plus one damage. So I take one yourself? damage and he died. Uh, that's a good idea. So hold on. Oh wait. If I take a damage, while I take non-direct damage, it has to be assigned to him. Okay, so I'm going to heal it so that uh, I just use a charge. He doesn't uh... get any more damage. <laughs> I injure him in order to do more damage, then I bandage him up. I just I imagine like man. some sort of terrible anime where the doctor just gets his bone saw, runs it across this guy's like chest to get the blood flowing or whatever, and uses it to empower his attack. And then he just like, oh my as an afterthought, while he's like jumping towards the enemy, throws a band aid back. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, great. Anyway. Uh, I will. You get your on the engage action. this guy for a second action because um, okay. this guy's annoying. And then I'm gonna bone saw this guy. Uh, I'm gonna commit on the mend and vicious blow, fighting at a five six against a three. Uh, six. Let's go. Isn't it? So I succeed. Um, you you did an eight versus a three. I don't know why you, where you came out with. Seven. Why why is it an eight? I I have base three plus, plus two, two, so it's five plus six. Seven, eight. Seven, okay, eight. okay. I... <laughs> <laughs> Math is was, hard. I'm gonna thinking. take a damage in order to do plus one damage, so I use another band aid, which means I actually get another on the men because this is no longer in my hand. That is um, And then this gets discarded to outside. Yep. And then I vicious blow him. He dead. dies. <laughs> I stab this guy twice in order to. <laughs> Do that. He's like, please but stop yes, injuring me. Your turn. Uh, okay. You know, this guy isn't that bad of a weakness. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to. I mean, not when you have a bandage out, but you're about to be not bandaged. Uh, uh, so that's true. That's true. I'm going to investigate here. Five v two. Hopefully. Okay. Um, I'll do Eureka. Six v two. Oh. Um. Let's just retroactively say you took a picture of one of them. Let's say I took a picture of one. <laughs> Make these would... red because you're gonna have a lot of evidence ones. Uh, six feet two. Okay. I succeeded this time. Wow, barely. Uh, look at the top three. I think this is three. Mhm. Mm Search. Uh, yes, please. Take that. Uh, Eureka goes away. I shuffle. I'm going to spend a clue, or not a clue, an action, and spend one Schaffner's Catalog dollar to play our research notes. And then I'm going to spend <clears throat> three Schaffner's Catalog dollars to play a Raven Quill. Raven Quill? It is attached to my research notes. So it no longer takes a hand slot. Yes. Okay. Uh, I also uh, get the clue for being successful at some point. That's Doing true. That Let's upkeep. Uh, upkeep. Okay. Unnecessary. Okay. Uh, doom two of seven. If I can click. And Good. my encounter. No more enemies, please. Oh. It's an enemy. When this enters play, each investigator chooses a non-weakness star they control in their hand or play area, and it's set aside as a hollow. If it's defeated, instead of getting the victory, so okay, we have to lose a card as a hollow. So I'm gonna throw away my bizarre diagnosis. I'm going to throw away an Arcane Enlightenment. Enlightenment. Okay. Uh, I will go first. Okay. 
I have a feeling this man's going to injure himself a lot. He bones. <laughs> this guy's just like, I can't, I can't. Oh, wait, wait. Your encounter, your encounter. <laughs> oh, do you, wait, wait. Before you draw your encounter card, do you take a picture of this guy or something? Um, I probably should take a picture of that guy because he's going to have to die eventually. Mm -hmm. I have to be time. at his location when he dies. No, I just have to take picture. I have to find a clue at this location. So that's Once you discover any number of clues, move that many evidence on enemies. So you actually don't get that one because I killed them before. Uh, oh, that's true. That's to true. Take a photo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Beyond the pale, uh, something's terrible in this fridge. Uh, attach beyond the pale to your location and test three brains. If you fail, take a horror for each hex treachery attached to your location. After this test ends, if there are exactly three copies of this in play, discard them. The test. So uh, this goes here. I test three brains. If I fail, I take a horror attached to my location. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. do I discard versus, this? Uh, I think I discard three. this. I think I don't care about this right now. So I'll get four versus three. Success. Okay. So it's still attached to the location. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'll go first. I'm going to bone saw this guy. Let's commit on the mend and stunning blow. Let me that bone saw a, you a five, question. Six, seven, eight. Eight against four. <laughs> Let me bone saw you a question. Eight against uh four. Well, because usually you have your runic axe. Fairly. He takes two damage. I lose my last charge of bandage. I get an on the mend. Uh, uh, so does your bandage discarded. explode? It yeah. does. So if it gets discarded, it doesn't explode. But all right, on the mend is out, and then this guy is exhausted because I'm epic. It's a stunning blue. Yep. Now you can yes. punch him at your leisure. Should I pick up that clue? Because I kind of want to get to start my archive of conduits, but. Uh, I mean, it's up to you. I do need to do my archive of conduit. So my second in action, I'm going to investigate here. I'm going to commit on the mend. I'll commit analysis uh, for you too. If you commit analysis, I'm going to keep my on the mend for fighting this guy. Then, um, okay, investigating good. at a five versus a two. Ooh, can I'm you drop a clue? I'm going to drop a clue. <laughs> awesome. I'm going to redraw. Uh, that puts an evidence on my research notes. There we go. It does, and I succeeded this time. Thank you very much. Uh, so I get a clue, and uh, I pick up the ley line. I have one action left. I could heal, or I could fight this guy some more. What do you think? I should um, fight this you should, guy. You should at least punch him one more time so you can take him out in one go next turn. Okay, so I'm going to... The problem is the wounded bystander is going to have four damage, and I'm and he's not going to... So well, that, I could potentially I mean, right take now, trauma. Because... That's right now you just attack him once. Like you don't you, you just do the extra one damage you need. You don't do the double. That's a good idea then. So I'll fight him at a five versus a four. I'll commit on the mend. So it's a seven versus a four. And then swing. Oh, that's outside. Ooh, I may heal a damage. So I will actually heal a damage and take on the mend back. Uh, uh heal a damage, of course, from the wounded bystander. Okay. Uh, my well, turn. then I can... Wait, hold on. I'm thinking. Do I want to injure the wounded bystander? Because I, I will. I will injure the wounded bystander in order to do an extra damage. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, keep, I, just got, I really need to heal this guy, but I can't help but just stab him repeatedly. <laughs> he's just a, such a stabbable face, that guy. Like, <laughs> he's like, oh, oh my god. This hurts so bad. Um, Alright, okay. I will investigate just normal 5v2. I got a tablet. Uh, void Chimera. I succeed. He's not a Void Chimera. We're good. I get a clue. I'm going to walk over into the next area because I, I don't like being here anymore. Sure. Uh, Firebanks. Fairbanks is the perfect place to replenish your supplies and research routes to the uh, research routes to the gold mine. Uh, when an investigator here draws a hazard treachery, you get to spend two resources to cancel that hazard treachery's effect and discard it. It's awesome. Cool. Um, it has no clues. No on clues. It. I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, go check the bottom one, I guess, because I have ley lines at the other ones. Sure. The bleak splendors of these. Wait, the bleak splendor. Oh, bleak splendors, not splendorous. Splendors of these remote and lonely forests rather overwhelmed with him. What? How come I can't read right now? 
Can you read that, Tao? I can't read it. The bleak splendors of these remote and lonely forests. <laughs> it's hard, right? The bleak splendors of these remote and lonely forests rather overwhelmed him with a, the sense of his own littleness. It does seem like a it's, hard sentence to say so for some hard. reason. It's so hard. I don't know. Flip it right. over. Flip it over. <laughs> Get rid of it. Get out of here. Isolated red. Uh -oh. The first hazard treachery revealed by an investigator at this location you try and gain search. Oh, That's this is a new symbol. I've never seen that. Oh, spade locations, huh? All right. Yeah, um, so your turn is done. This uh, up enemy phase. This guy will ready up on me. Oh, you picked oh, up his evidence. I, I, I did. I did find took his, a picture of him. I took a picture. And then upkeep. Uh, boop. Ooh, this is nice. That'll be good. Uh, three of seven doom encounters. Your first. Uh, hazard. Put it into play next to the agenda deck. If there's three or more copies of Cracking Ice next to the agenda deck, discard them. Each person at a wilderness location tests four boots. Each one who fails must take a damage, take a horror, or lose an action for each point they fail by. And it's four boots! Oof. So I gotta do that right now. Do... No, no, we don't do that now. Um, no, no, so that's, just that's when you do it, isn't it? No, no, no. If there's three or more copies with it. So, like, the ice is slowly starting to crack. And there's this really goofy looking thing underneath you. <laughs> okay. So yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Uh, your turn. That's interesting. Oh, your encounter. I mean, it looks like a big spider. Oh, it's a uh, hazard. Snow so you slide. Got a new one. Yeah. Well, no, I gained surge. I test this and another one. Mm -hmm. Uh, test three boots. If you fail, you and each asset with health you control takes one direct damage. You just take a damage if you fail. Uh, yeah. I have three boots. Three boots, go. You're not going to take a photo of it? No. Or, I mean, I you can't, I can't. take It doesn't go to my threat area or anything, so I take a damage. Okay, so you take one damage and you draw a new one. <sighs> Seeing shadows. Put it in my threat area. I'll take a picture of it. <laughs> I'm seeing shadows! Flash! <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> like, I keep failing skill test while at a location that can still manage to go to the horror. Okay. Not too uh, I'll go first, if that's worried. okay. That, okay. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, I'm going to swing at this guy, Bone Saw. Let's commit on the mend. Five, six, seven against four. Okay. Uh, go. Success. He takes one damage. I'm not going to damage myself for no reason. And he dies. I'm going to put him in the victory display instead of uh, getting three hollow back because I think our hollow cards aren't that bad to leave that, out. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with it. And then that's my first action. Uh, I guess I want to. Well. I'm going to spend two and plop down another bandages, and then I'm going to walk over here for my last action. Okay. Okay, your turn. Uh, my turn. I guess I'll just start investigating. Okay. Um, I'll go five ahead. versus three. Uh, 5v3. Uh, 6v3. Uh, success. And we've totally been for been forgetting, but you now have an evidence now. I got an evidence. I don't know that I actually succeeded by three or more on those, but that was... uh, I think you might have here, but I don't remember. It's... But it's fine. You, you succeeded by three or more here for sure. Yeah. Um. Then I'm going to uh, investigate again. Might as well. Oh, you took a picture of it, so here you go. Oh, I did. I did. <laughs> Flash. Um, so five v uh, three. three. Mm -hmm. I, I can do five v three. There you go. One more clue. Okay. And my last action, I'm going to spend a dollar and a dollar to play this Hawkeye folding camera. Nice. Okay. <sighs> Getting a my, lot of evidence right My now. catalog explodes. <laughs> I'll take a picture of it. I'll keep. Uh, yep. And then four of seven doom encounters. Me first. Cracking ice. I'm going to spend two resources and discard it with the ability on the location. That way we don't have to worry about cracking ice for a while. Okay. Your turn. Cracking oh. ice. Oh, you can take a photo of them? I will. Because it's unlikely that other things will show up. Uh, can you kill him? <laughs> or do you need me? I can deal a damage to him, maybe. I'll kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go first. Okay. Uh, I'm going to walk down and then swing at him. Uh, fighting at a... Don't five oh a six against a three um should i discard one more to make this sure i think six against three is good enough right yeah six oh wait when he engages you oh you have to you have to get a hollow from the top of your deck okay 
No. Oh, well. oh, that's really. Oh, that's really good. You can get it back if you go back to Anchorage. That's right. Mm -hmm. But uh, six against three fight. Go. Ah, oh, minus four failure. Dang so it. I failed. Sorry. You uh, oh, through. you take a damage. Oh, however, I will heal the damage on you and give you an on the mend. Hold on a sec. Commit only to I, you can't commit it to me, sadly. I can't. Um, but it's fine. Uh, I'll swing again. Five against three. Um, I I don't I. I'll give it another shot. Five against three. Come on, go. Yes, success this time. I'm gonna use a charge of bandage to kill him. This wounded bystander really is just getting the works on him. All right. Uh, uh, okay, you dead. take a pick. Oh, but you don't take I don't a picture take a of him, sadly. It's fine. Okay, but he's dead at least. Uh, he's a normal. He's dude. not a victory point. <laughs> All he's right, your just turn. a normal dude. Um, I will investigate this location. 5v3. Uh, I'll use on, on the mend. Make it a 7v3. Okay, you sure you want to use it for this? I did it. Okay. <laughs> Here's your clue. I get uh, an evidence on this Hawkeye folding camera. Nice. Look, I've collected all this evidence. Great. Um, I'm gonna oh, wait. End... Um, you drew a minus one just now, right? Seven. Mm -hmm. You succeeded by three, so you actually get another evidence. All the evidence. Cool. You got to remember this. It's like your second passive now. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna spend this to draw a card. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move up. Mm-hmm. Oop. And I'm gonna move up again. All right. It's a frozen lake with a lot of little children on it. Um, after an investigator at this location reveals a bad thimble during a skill test they are performing, they must either choose a discard card from their hand or take a horror. Okay. Uh, during a upkeep. skill test they are performing. I drew 13th vision. That's annoying. Uh, yeah, please stay with Five of there. seven in counters. Warped reality attached to your location. It's a hex, not a hazard. After you end your turn at attached location, choose a non weakness card, set it aside out of play as a hollow. Um, oh, I'm just going to leave you're here. You're just going to leave there, so that's fine. Uh, mine, I'm seeing shadows. I'm going to take a picture of it. <laughs> that's the same shadow I just saw a moment I ago. <laughs> I've seen this guy before. <laughs> like, okay, I'll go first. I want to pick up no some limit of my. For this one right now. I need to pick up my archive of conduits and get these out of the way. So I'll go first. I'm going to walk up for an action. Um, if I investigate here at a 6v4, I could fail if I draw a minus 2. If what does failing do? Well, no, 13th vision is what I'm just worried because it seems minus 4s are pretty calm. What's in the bag? Uh, we have a One tablet only. So only minus minus minus, minus four. Okay, so I think I think I can ignore thirteenth vision for a turn. I'm gonna investigate and commit on the mend. All right, you uh, six v four, six v two. Go. Oh, I thought yes. it was minus four for a sec. <laughs> All right, uh, I get the resource token. Is it? Can evidence? can you get rid of my thirteenth vision if I walk up, please? Um, I was really I like while these aren't doing anything now. I feel like I don't want two of them on me, so I was gonna get rid of one of mine, but. Uh... If you walk up there, I have get to rid of, get rid of. I can get rid of them during downtime. It's fine because I need to pick up a clue from here, and then this is where we definitely need to go because that's the condemned gold mine, probably. Yeah, it's definitely going to be. Even I'll not. I'll walk up for my last action because I need to be there anyways. Okay, uh, my turn's done. Okay. Um. So you you walked up to where I'm at. So I'll yeah I'll get rid of your thirteenth vision. Thank you very much. And then you can get rid of one of my seeing shadows. Sure. Uh, I will. I'm gonna get rid of um another one of my evidence. I draw, draw a card. card. Nice. Okay. Um, I will investigate. Five v three. Five v three. Um, I'll check a deduction. Six v three. Just because I want to make sure I'm going to ditch a evidence to make it minus six v one. Ooh. Place an evidence on an asset you control, and you get another one on empirical evidence hypothesis. So and you I, get a uh, you get one additional evidence right now. I get and, and I get the one from seeing shadows because I'm getting. Yes, it. you do. Oh wait, why not put your additional evidence on your Hawkeye folding camera? Um, yeah, because okay. your brains are at three, and now your books are at six, and you got two clues. Nicely done. Um, get rid of that. Upkeep for both of us. 
We're moving a little. Ooh, this is nice. We're moving a little slow, but I think we got it now. Six against seven and encounters. Are we moving? Oh, wait. Do we can. Oh, wait. No, we have to be at the gold mine. Mm -hmm. To turn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, encounters. Damn it. Uh, oh, spawns at the nearest wilderness location. So that's, that's our here, location. Cause... Yeah. Uh, he cannot enter non wilderness locations. When it's moving, it skips over connecting non wilderness locations. Ah, I have to kill this thing. He's going to come over to uh, where we are. Yeah, he's pretty spooky. Uh, my encounter. Beyond the poo! There's one. Test a three, three versus a three. Right? These don't like add up like the other ones do. It's just no, it's attached to the location, so it's actually good to keep moving. All right, 3v3. Oh, yeah. you're fine. Uh, so you take no horror. Yeah, I think this turn I'm just going to rush over here and go and turn in the clues because you're going to sit I there can, and get a clue, right? I can understand. I mean, I have to stay here and fight this thing, right? I mean, you don't have to. I should fight this I thing. I could evade it. Actually, do you have any pl fist icons to give me if I fight this thing? Mm, I have like one. He has retaliate. The thing I'm worried about is retaliate. Could you commit that one? Because then I want to kill him in one turn if possible. Yeah, I could commit the one. Okay, then I'm gonna fight him for my first action oh, wait. and commit vicious no, blow. No, I can't. I can't commit the one. Never mind. <laughs> Hold on. So I'm fighting at a five, a six against a four. That's not best odds. I could commit my runic axe because I'm not using it right now. That's a seven against a four. I think. I think I just gotta hope for it. So I'm gonna commit these two. And fight at a seven versus a four. Uh, please don't fail me, sir. Because uh, I could actually lose my wounded bystander if I fail to evade him. Yeah, if you fail to attack him, yeah. Because he's retaliating. Mm. Seven v four, go. Yes, I did it. I'm going to take a damage and heal myself uh, to get Wait. on the men. This goes the bandage. Uh, and he there. takes three damage and dies. Oof. Uh, then I for my second like action, I'm going to investigate here. I'm going to commit on the mend, and I'm going to investigate at a six versus a three. Success. I get a clue, and I get my resource. Just one more, and this quest will be done. I sadly lost my runic axe for this, but I'll, I'm happy. And for my last action, I'm going to spend three resources and play Jessica Hyde and increase my... Oh, man, what if we go to this location and it's like replace this location with a different location and your locust just goes away? No. <laughs> okay. Or, or uh, at lying. the end of my turn, Jessica Hyde heals one and I grab a on the mend. Okay. All right. Your turn. Uh, I'm going to move twice. Okay. This isn't a you know, victory point, so I don't really care about it. Uh, After you enter. Stream. Oh, mountain stream. Test. Uh, How do we test get to the condemned stream? gold mine? After the last clues discovered oh. here, put the three set aside outer outer wilderness locations into play adjacent to it. So, um, this is going to have three more locations. Uh, okay. Uh, so test three things. Mm -hmm. Uh, or no, uh, what is it? Six versus one book. Is that right? Why even? Have uh, a yeah, six here? versus one book. Oh, that's why. I fail. Take a damage. <laughs> Uh, Heal me! <laughs> yeah, I would like that. That would be nice. Um, you, uh, I'm and then... going to investigate because sure. I need the last clue here. Uh, before I investigate, actually, I'm going to spend this to draw a card. Okay. Yeah, I'll investigate. I'll give myself plus two. Uh, eight versus one. Why so high? This is Because if I succeed by three or more, I get a clue. Five, six versus one is still crazy good, but okay. Nine, six, yeah, see, look one. at that. You did it. Here you go. <laughs> All right. Good. Um, upkeep for both of us. And then and seven. Oh, we advanced the doom, so we flipped this over. The frigid landscape fills you with a kind of numbness. At first, you dismiss the feeling as purely physical, a side effect of the cold. It is only when you stop and consider the feeling itself that it dawns on you. The numbness is a result of some strange influence. You are forgetting small moments, memories of the surrounding area. It is as though your mind itself is being hunted and fed upon. Choose an item, ally or item asset in your hand or play area and set it aside as a hollow. Ooh, so you have to set aside an item or ally. I'm going to set aside Jessica Hyde from my hand. 
Oh, from your hand. Okay. Uh, you were like, what? I was like, no. I'll set aside this uh, eye of ravens. No, I can't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's not an item. I, you could you could set aside your raven quill. Yeah, I'm thinking about what I want to do. Yeah, the raven quill makes sense because it's unique. There's no reason not to. Okay. Um, Encounters. So it is. Uh, oh, we got to look at the new agenda. Oh yeah. Eyes of the Void. As you explore the region, you cannot shake the feeling that you are being watched. It is as though a thousand eyes are staring directly at you, or perhaps through you. The surrounding forest is filled with a deafening silence. It's so quiet! <laughs> Who put all the silence here? I'm not gonna get my bucket! Obscuring fog at our location. No. Did I draw a... I never drew a symbol here. I don't ever recall drawing a symbol even once this game, I think. Your turn. There's only the tablet, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, and I didn't draw I, the I, I I, I've it. Drawn it I've drawn it once. Oh, but... okay, yeah, yeah. There's no void chimera at our location, thank God. Your uh, encounter. <laughs> my encounter. Oh, no. It's a second cracking ice. After it enters play, you can take a picture of it. Uh, I sure can. Uh, I will take a picture of it. Okay, so... <laughs> look, at, <laughs> look at this ice cracking underneath my foot! <laughs> Amazing. I'll go first because I need to pick up that clue. So I'm going to spend two actions to move and one action to investigate. Uh, it's a... I'll just commit on the men. Uh, 6v1. Ooh, symbol. Uh, how many hazard treacheries are in play? Three? No, two. One. Just the cracking ice, right? No, no. The obscuring fog is a hazard. There's three. Oh, that's so minus three. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So I succeed. I get this. And because I did all this now, um, you get to mark down that. Take the four lines as resources and identify the gateway. So I get eight. Do I discard this? No. If there are four ley lines on it, discard it. Take its line. I do. This is discarded when I uh, finish it. Oh, okay. Which is fine because I hopefully will draw my runic axe soon. I mean, I this you... thing's been pretty good, this bone saw. I thought you discarded um, your runic axe. I did, but I have another one, which is why I threw it away. Okay. Uh, at the end of my turn, Jessica Hyde heals a damage, and I get an on the men back. Okay, my turn is done. Okay. Uh, oh, that was your oh, turn. Oh, when we do that, we put in the other three wilderness locations adjacent to it. Yeah, what do these say? Are they equally hard to, to talk about? Oh, they're different words. In the draughts of night that poured their silent tide from the depths of the forest, with messages from distant ridges and from lakes just beginning to freeze, there lay already the faint, bleak odors of coming winter. Okay. From Algernon Blackwood, the Wendigo. They all they all say the same thing, right? Otherwise, it would be bad. Um, <laughs> okay. You could... Oh, wait, hold on. You can investigate any location to get cracking ice. Never mind. Yeah. There's two agendas left. I think I'm going to take a turn to get rid of one of these shadows. Sure. You don't want to take too much horror? Uh, yeah, uh, well, I mean, the horror is not bad, but yeah, two at a time plus whatever the thing is that's going to be there doing it is... is okay, bad. fine, fine. Um, so I'm going to get rid of one. Then I will plop down... Yeah, I'll plop down a William T. Matheson, Nelson, Nelson, Malison. Nice. Ooh, is he's not the upgraded one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> upkeep for both of us. Uh, yep. And then one of six doom encounters. Uh, power. Okay. For each set aside hollow you own, if there's one or more copies in your play area or hand, which there is for Jessica Hyde and for Bizarre Diagnosis, um, discard those copies. And take a damage and a horror. There's no cards discarded. I okay, so I lose bizarre diagnosis and Jessica Hyde, and I take two damage and two horror. Uh, so one of them has to go to wounded bystander, but the other one can go on me, and I take two horror. That really sucks. Uh, yep. My encounter. Tenebris Nothing. eclipse. Tenebris Eclipse into play next to the agenda. Uh, no more than one concealed mini card can be exposed by each investigator at the end of the... Okay, this does nothing. Take a picture of it! I'll, <laughs> I'll, 
I'll take a picture. Look at of that it. thing in the sky. <laughs> These are just the rambling pho photographs of a madman. I look, look, there's a tree over there. <laughs> it's a shadow. <laughs> like, sir, this is just a blurry picture of your foot. <laughs> okay, uh, you can go first. Um, I guess I'm going to head on over to some location. Uh, we'll do this location. Outer Wilderness. Condemned gold mine. I found it. That's the place we got to go, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Reveal a random chaos token from the chaos bag, plus an additional token for each depletion token on Condemned Mine. If you did not reveal any symbols, gain four resources and place a resource on it as a depletion token. Uh, plus so you can one. get, so a, bunch you can get a bunch of money first. Okay. okay. We don't need that right so... now. So, <laughs> uh, um... do you want to spend the clues? Uh, yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh, you're not here, though, are you? I'm not. So I can't spend my clues there, but. See, I'd rather keep my clues to drop them to pick them up again later, but. It's fine. I, I need to run back to Anchorage and pick up uh Jessica Hyde. She's very important for me. Yeah, so, unfortunately. Six clues to do the act. It is agenda two or three. As you approach the condemned mine, you see from the broken barricades and tracks in the snow that Thorn and the Coterie, Co Coterie have already arrived. Before you can backtrack, two guards emerge from the shadows, brandishing shotguns. Don't move, one of them says. Uh, interlude, raw deal. All right, uh, I'll All read right. that. Here we go, raw deal. If it's agenda two, we skip to raw deal two. Yep. Um, here we go. Uh, oh, well, Thorn speaks. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness gracious. Um, Thorn says, emerging from the mine. Put that down at once, you oaf. There's no way to treat... That's no way to treat gays. They snap at the guards who lower their weapons. You're too late, I'm afraid, or rather just in time, I suppose, depending on your perspective. Thorn brandishes an obsidian lens in one hand as they smirk. Remembering the Foundation dossier, you ask Thorn if there is anything you can do to negotiate for the key. Uh... uh they shake their head, my bad. <laughs> I'm afraid not, kitten. A key in hand is worth, well, fortunes. Not that I would sell it for anything in the world. They clutch the sable glass in one hand and a chill wind blows. However, there's still time to make a deal. If you weren't completely daft, you'd have noticed this entire area is in grave danger. Something truly terrible stalks these woods. Uh, there's a little bit of um, mic blowback on your side, pal, by the way. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh... Stocks these woods. The ultimate predator, in fact. It already knows we're here. Thorn looks to you. The way I see it, you can pout about not getting your prize, or you can help me track my quarry. Do that, and I'll owe you a favor to be paid at a later date. Do we have a deal? So, we unfortunately are a little late. Hmm. What do you think we should do? Do you think we should work with him or we can't let the key fall out of the cautery hand what do we do just beat him up um i don't know what was wait wasn't there something we were tracking like conviction wise like there was like a thing is that a thing am i just thinking of something else i don't remember hmm Maybe that was something else I'm thinking of. Um, I think... I think we should work with him, I guess, then. I'm thinking we don't want the key to fall into the coterie hands, but... I'm thinking... You trust... Like, me? I know that, but, like, looking back at the dossier, like, he's all about making deals and stuff, so he sounds like somebody who would definitely stay good to his word, maybe. Like, maybe. He's like He's like a Batman kind of dude. I don't know if we trust him. Should we flip a coin to decide because we're on an impasse? Uh, no, we'll go with whatever you say. I picked Anchorage, so... No, 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 no. Uh, um, so, we'll yeah. work with him. We'll work with him. Uh, Are you sure? I, th I think... Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We'll go to Raw Deal 3. Okay. Uh, he Brilliant. Speaks. We shall have to pop some champagne when this is all over and done. Uh, Thorn snaps at their fingers, calling their cohorts to attention. I believe we have some work to do. All right, so I'll write down the, the cell... Made a deal main... with Thorn. A deal with Thorn. Uh, we remove a squiggly scoodad uh, token from the chaos bag, and we add a tablet. Okay, we've got four tablets in the bag now. 
Were there already four, or we just have four? No, there was there was three before, so now there's four. Okay. Uh, then we put the the thorny a story asset into play under the lead investigator's control, and attach the sable glass key to him. Oh, he's like some Look sort this of vampire. Pretty boy. Yeah. Um, attach him to the lead investigator, or who, who? yeah, that's that's you. Okay, and then attach the. Sable you can damage key. him for years. <laughs> oh <laughs> baby! <laughs> just murder him, and he'll drop that right for sure. Uh, search cool. the encounter yeah. deck and discard pile on player for all other cards from the crimson conspiracy encounter set and remove them from the game okay so the crimson conspiracy is anything that has one two three anything that looks like this third symbol this weird like splotch with symbols hold on is your is that what it is no that's not seems the tenebrious eclipse is a uh, is one of them crimson so let me... hold on hold on before you do that crim this is crimson conspiracy the one that looks oh, like oh my bad so that's the Oh, the phone. The phone. Okay. So we need to look for any phone. Yes, children. Back in the day, phones used to look like this. That's even before children. my time. <laughs> uh, we were on page 33. And then some. Uh, there's one conspiracy in red. Conspiracy? There's two. Conspiracy. Okay. Uh... I'll look through the discard pile. I already did. There's another coterie agent. Is it just the coterie agents? Another coterie agent? No, conspiracy and red uh, cards and coterie agents. Those are all of them. So get rid of those now. Wait, what? I got rid of them. I got rid of them. Hold on. Hold on. It was just the crimson conspiracy cards. Yeah, no, no. I'm saying there's two different cards. Look, it's conspiracy and red and the coterie agents. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, so these are out of the game now. I was uh, which means, thing. what do we do now? Search and remove them from the game. I suppose we keep reading? Nope, we don't. Okay, nope, so then... we're done. That's it. Uh, we just continue playing, I guess. But this uh, guy's it. Let me read what he does now. Yep. After an investigator at your location sets a card aside as a hollow, exhaust him. That investigator may take an immediate action as if it were their turn. And he has the sable eye, which is look at the revealed side of each concealed mini card at your location without exposing them and then flip it to its unstable side. That's pretty good for that. Each investigator sets the non-weakness card in their hand with the highest printed card aside out of play as a hollow. Then you flip this back to its stable side. Okay. Okay. That's not great, but it's not, like, the worst. Yeah, so I'll set him here and then put the key with him. I'm going to spend you, you my... Can't I'm gonna make, use, oh. You can't use the key. I know, I know I can't, but uh, you have yeah. two more actions. It's just with him, yeah. Um, where was I? What was I doing? And who am I? Uh, oh, wait, wait, we got to read the new uh, act deck. Uh, if it bleeds, Thorn said they were trying to track the predator in the in these woods. Although the beast leaves no trace, you sh can surely scout the surrounding area before luring it out. If your location has the wilderness trait, and investigators at your location spend two clues as a group, we place a resource on your location as a scouting report. Limit one scouting report per wilderness location. You may advance at the end of any round. You will lure out the predator when you advance. Advance when you believe you are prepared. Wilderness, you have to spend two clues to put a resource. Okay, so we need to scout as much as possible and advance when we think we're ready. Is this a wilderness? Okay. This is not a wilderness. That's nothing. <laughs> this place has been terrible to me. I hate it. I'm leaving. Okay. Um, is, is, it an, is it an action to boot, do it? It isn't. It is an action. That sucks. Um, I'm going to spend an action and spend two of your clues to put the, the thing on this one. Okay, so we put a... A resource. There's so many different resource markers, but this is now a wilderness, uh, or not? What is it? A scouting report? Yeah, we have a scouting report on there now. Yeah, a green a, scouting report. It'll be, okay, it'll be green. I'll put a I'll put a base one up on the act deck so we can just copy that. I'm gonna do my turn real quick. Two actions to move and one action in order to uh, go to Anchorage and pick up my Jessica Hyde because I need that badly. Okay. okay, and my turn is done. Upkeep. Uh, at the end of the round, this gets discarded. Boop. Mm -hmm. well, that's a good. And one. then two of six doom encounters. Your encounter. Uh, figures in the dark. There's it's surge. Otherwise, decide. That's weird. Well, uh, since there's no enemies in the shadows, it's surged. Okay. That's not part of the conspiracy encounter set too. 
<gasps> okay. Okay. Uh, it's in play next to the agenda. So you, basically, I'll just put it on you, and you'll take a picture of I'll it. I'll take a picture of it. <laughs> that last one that went away. This is the real picture. <laughs> I'll get it this time. Attach this to my location and test three boots. Take a damage if, for each one a, of them attached to each one. So. To, so just this one. Take a damage if you fail. Test three versus three. Uh, is there anything I can do? I can. I can do true understanding. I get plus one. Well, there's no clues here, though. No, there's not. But I, it's fine. I mean, like, just use a use an evidence if you want to. Oh yeah, I can. I can just use an evidence. I can use an evidence. Three v one. Three one. Success. You get. Uh, I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. Anyway. So nothing bad happens. I did it. All right. I'll Our... go first. Okay. Um, so you play I think Jessica and run to, back over. <laughs> uh, the pro yeah, the problem with Frozen Lake is that it's a shroud of fire that's very difficult for me to beat now. So yeah, I'm just gonna play. Uh, you know what? Look, I'm gonna it. I'm gonna retroactively say that you got. I only did one clue from you and one clue from me. Fine. In which case, it, that makes more I sense if you were gonna a... go back to go and do that. So we'll cheat a little bit, but. Yeah, yeah. So then I fine. think I'll drop a scouting report here. I think we'll ignore this place unless we can get enough clues. I'll spend one action to go here. I don't want to end up in isolated road, so I'm going to spend this action to heal. So let's... Why do I have four damage on my wounded bystander? Because at some point you took... Oh, because you took a damage when you took a damage... Two damage and two horror from that one encounter card. Oh, you're right, you're right. So I'm going to play Soothing Melody and heal... Uh, I'll heal one damage and one horror, and then draw a card. That's my last action. Okay. Uh, your turn. Uh, oh, you Jessica get... Hyde heals one. Yeah. Wait, actually, I'm going to ignore... No, no, no. I don't no, think no. you I should, should I ignore should... Jessica, gonna... yeah. <laughs> okay, your turn. Uh, my turn. I am going to walk on over to a new location and then probably take some damage as I break my leg doing something. Um... Mm, sounds good. <laughs> A hunter's Ooh, lodge. When you reveal this, test your books or your brains to talk the hunter down. If you fail, take a damage. And when a monster enters this location, deal a damage to it. Uh, so, test the six versus three, I assume. If you fail, take a damage. When a monster enters this Okay. Sure. Six feet. You're pretty healthy, three. though. Okay, well, take a damage. You didn't no. talk the hunter down, so he shot you. And he's like, sorry. You shot Williamson. <laughs> yeah. All right. Just get those clues and you're set. Uh, sure. I will investigate. Six versus four. Uh, there's only two clues here, right? Yep. Um, sure. I'll do six versus uh two. Two. Minus two. Uh, Success. four versus two. So you succeed by two. Here's a clue. You also yeah. get evidence from the cracking ice and from a Tenebrous so Eclipse. Move that many evidence, so only one. Oh, that many. Okay, so uh, in which case you should leave it on the cracking ice because that doesn't go away. Yeah. We'll grab it from this one instead. I'm just going to discard not that. Gone. It's, yeah, it doesn't have any use. It doesn't so do get anything, one more action. so it's gone. Uh, I'm going to now uh, investigate this. I will... Get rid of this clue to make it Six easy. Success. Success. There you go. I was hoping to get it. And an now you get the evidence from the cracking ice. Yeah. And you get another one for Hawkeye folding camera. Yeah. Also, I crack the case. And I get <sighs> four dollars. resources. <laughs> okay. Uh, upkeep. Uh, yeah. That's good. Uh, three of six encounters. Your encounter first. Uh, figures in the dark. There's nobody in the shadows. Oh, man! Take a picture of it! <laughs> I'm taking a picture of it! And your encounter. Oh, this again. That's the three versus a three. Take a damage if you fail. Splintered space. Man, this like hunter needs to like sand some of his walls or something. Is there only three or is there more? Uh, Sure. There's 3v3. Only... Three. Go. I succeeded. Okay. Um. My turn. Yep. 
I'm going to go down here. I'm going to spend an action to put a scouting report here. Okay. Oh, is this a wilderness? That is a wilderness. Nice. That is okay. a wilderness. And then I'll This one's a wilderness up. too, right? Yeah. Yep. I just walk down, walk back up. Okay. Oh, and then Jessica Hyde heals one. Um, I'm going to put a wilderness thing on this one. Mm -hmm. A scout report on this hunter's lodge. And then I guess I'll move twice. Okay. And we flip over this. Draw three cards, limit once per game. Well, okay. Well, hardly large enough to qualify as a town, this small settlement feels like a bastion of comfort after days on end of trying wilderness. Are they connected? Oh my god, they are. Are they connected both ways? Yes. Okay. So Is we... anything else connected? Uh, no. These are only the connected old. to Red Square. This is... Well, let's do it's, this. Yeah, I'll swap it around and then just put this one here. Okay, and then here. Yeah, that makes sense. Green Diamond. Okay, oh, wait, this one's also connected to Green Diamond, though. So this is, like, here. Well, Green Diamond's in the middle. What do you mean? Oh, never mind. I'm dumb. Hello? I was looking, I was looking at the wrong thing. Can you not hear me? Hello? Can you hear me, Tao? Okay. Oh, yeah, I hear you now. I hear you now. Okay, oh, Okay. I, I was muted this whole time, apparently. Your ping just shot up to, like, 500 for a sec, but we're fine. Okay, you can hear me, though, now, yeah? Hello? No. You can hear me now. I can hear you. I could hear you before. You were just, your ping just shot up for a moment. I'm confused. Hold on. Let me just check that I'm not muted. I'm not muted. Okay, that's all I was checking. It's because your ping went up. It was your ping, not mine. No, I have a ping monitor. My ping was steady. Dang it. <laughs> he got me again. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so this is gone. You'd lose the evidence. No. Oh, don't worry. I'll take a picture of it next time. Hmm. Four of six encounters. Yep. Uh, obscuring fog is... Stop Should I get rid of this? Fog everywhere. Oh, wait, because uh, the thing is, that makes skulls harder. I'm actually going to spend two resources and get rid of it. Get out of here. Okay, your encounter. Don't you have to draw another one? No, oh, just no. discard you it. You just discard it. Okay, cool. Um, <gasps> beyond the Pale. It's the last Beyond the Pale. Take a picture of it. <laughs> uh, I, why would I take a picture of it? Because you're going to investigate this location anyways, right? Uh, but it's going to leave immediately. It doesn't leave. It stays attached to the location. If there are exactly three copies of Beyond the uh, Pale and play oh, one, two, three, okay. then they get discarded. So, so taking a picture is useless. You're right. So I'm going to test three, and if I fail, I take a horror. Uh, sure, that's fine. Test three. Yeah, you don't take a horror. You were so worried about taking horror, and nothing I, even happens. I don't care about horror. I just don't. I care about taking damage because I only have four HP left. Well, yeah, but you spend two actions to get rid of your seeing shadow, so you do care about taking. I, some I care. Horror. I care about taking like massive amounts of horror. Yes, like. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. I'm about to take a horror this turn because I don't. I need to draw a, a card. Oh no! One horror. <laughs> How will you live? I'll be. I'll be fine. Um. Okay. I guess I'll go first and just investigate the crap out of this place. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there anything else I can do? No, not really. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we'll investigate. Oh, I, oh, I should have done that. Anyway, investigate. I keep forgetting I have this card in my hand. You have one more. I no. will. You know what? I'm gonna spend two dollars. I'm gonna play this Hawkeye folding camera. Nice. We'll just move because that's in your hand slot. Okay. I mean, they're all in my hand slot, but uh, investigate. Uh, you succeed, which means you get two evidences okay, for your Hawkeye holding oh. cameras. Nice. Uh, well, three. I suppose I need to try to pick up this clue. I mean, we could put a scouting report on every place, I suppose. I'll try that. I'm going to walk up here. I'm going to investigate and commit on the mend. Uh, 6v5. That's pretty good odds, right? What the fuck? <laughs> what? Why, was Why that is this Eye of Ravens in the Chaos Bag? 
Oh, this... I know why the Eye of Ravens isn't it? Because I put it in there so I would remember that it's there. Yeah, I, I told you it was such a bad idea. And I forgot about and now it. I was proven right. It's fine. We'll do it again. I'm going to investigate at a I'll six feet next five. Time. This Eye of Ravens curse. <laughs> Fortunately, I am lucky. <laughs> So I succeed, the obscuring fog goes away, and I get a clue. Okay, okay, so you need to drop the scouting report here and meet me at my location, and then we have enough. So I walked up, I investigated. Um, wait, I did reveal a tablet some. No, I revealed a minus three. I'm good. I, I didn't reveal a symbol. I revealed the freaking Eye of Ravens, you stuffed <laughs> it. That, that, was a, that was a symbol for sure. Uh, for my last action, I'm going to... I guess I'll throw down this smoking pipe, and then... That's a good one. Whoopsie, it lagged. Um, spend the supply in order to heal a horror and take a damage, which Jessica Hyde immediately heals at the end of my turn, and so I get on the mend in my hand. Okay? Yep. Upkeep. Uh, upkeep. I take a horror. Um, yeah. Five of six encounters. Your encounter. A splintered space. This will make me take a damage and then they'll get discarded. I'm fine with that. 1v3. Yep. I will not be taking a picture of that. Okay, so... Seen it all before. Damage. It's quite common in these in this part of the woods. These three get discarded. <laughs> no Your one's turn. varnished these trees in years. Your encounter. <laughs> Splinters everywhere. I guess uh, you'll have to lose something since you didn't want to... <laughs> I don't know. A crypt chill. Or you can drop a clue, but that will waste a bit of time. Or I can... Why would I drop a clue? Or William, because then you can redraw an encounter. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that will waste the time. That would waste a turn. Actually. But it would get me so much evidence. <laughs> you don't... I think you're good on evidence, okay? Just drop the scouting reports, please. <laughs> uh, I mean, I... Why would I drop... In I'm going to use this, and okay. I'll be 7v4. 7v4. 8v4. Oh, 8v4, you're right. Wow, okay. Success. Uh, success, exactly. Nice. And then, uh, okay. You should go first and just drop these scouting reports and head to me. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to investigate this. Oh, no. I'm going to move. Um, Wait, you have to drop the scouting report first. Oh yeah, I'll drop a scouting report. I'll get rid of okay. these two. There you go. Um, and then we have two clues left in the last location. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna move up here, mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm gonna investigate this location. Um, six v one. Six v one. Wait, hold on. After I enter this place, I have to test a book. I don't. I think book. I've been forgetting to do that. Oh yeah. Test a book. But yeah, I succeed. Success. Well, test it again just to make up for the last time you walked in there. Okay. You're fine. Uh, I will investigate this location six v one. Okay. You're fine. Success. I get a I get a clue, um, and I get to get rid of this. Nice. Uh, right? I can't do anything. Until, yeah, yeah. Because you discard, discard from me. Yeah. I, I well I had I had to do this Tao. I had to get rid of this. I'll be there next yeah. turn. Okay. Uh, I will draw a card. You can just get right. Crossroads. Okay. Um, Would you like to draw some cards? Can I give it to you and then you take an extra action, but you lose a card from your hand? I'd, I'd rather not. Damn it. I mean, I'm going to be there next turn anyway. Like, unless you're going to draw again to get a second at a well, crossroads. Like... We can advance at the end of any... I guess you're right. All right. All right. I'll, I'll use it on me in order to draw three cards next action. Or next okay. turn, because I if I, I use have... it on you, you're not going to have enough in order to get here and drop the scouting report. Uh, I will. Well, no, I would draw. just need to move there because you can spend my clues to drop the scouting report. Oh, well, do you want to draw three cards? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay, well, I'll do it on me then. I'll draw my, a card for my, my second action. My deck is actually scary now. I'll draw another card. Dropping four evidence is not that bad for you. You're fine. It's scary. Okay, like uh, I'll keep for both of us. Okay. And then uh, Doom six, six of seven, six. Or six of six. We advance. Okay. <sighs> During your exploration, you stop and look up at the majestic vista of a nearby mountain range. One of the mountains appears strangely damaged, as though a great fist has punched a hole in the mountainside. That's although it is covered in wood. 
<laughs> Although it is covered in a layer of snow, there is something ominous about the deep, empty pit gouged into the side of the rock. You wonder what horrible thing burst out of the heart of the mountain. As you stare at the impossible destruction around you, a faint buzzing in the back of your mind sets you on edge. You have a creeping feeling that you have forgotten something or someone. Each investigator chooses an item or ally asset in your hand or play area and set it aside as a hollow. So, okay. uh, I will set aside... Uh... Dr. Ma Malice. No. I'll no. set aside my smoking pipe. Uh, item. Ally or item. Do I just set aside my camera? I can set no, <laughs> set aside Dr. William. He's not going to be useful for you. Okay, I'll set aside Dr. William. Well, okay. <laughs> and we have I want, five I wanted. I wanted to set him aside from like my hand, like or from, from the table and then play I, a new yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's too many actions, so... All right, so hold on. It says here, the landscape around you is being actively devoured, stolen from existence and memory. A feeling of numbness spreads throughout, through you as you stare into the fading wilderness. As uncanny sense that you are losing your grip on reality nags at the edge of your mind. I have a quick question. Should we have advanced to act last round? Could we just say we did that? Because no, we're gonna. We could advance at the end of any round. Yeah, we'll do it this turn. Because you wanted right, to fine. put the one more clue out, right? I guess, but I mean, like, I think we're running out of time. We have five turns left. That's what I'm worried about. It's but it's fine. It's fine. fine. We'll wait. No, no, no. We'll, we'll do. We'll advance one more turn. So encounters, I lose an action and I draw three cards. Okay, um, after you end your turn at its location, set aside a thing as a hollow. You I'm gonna take a picture of him. Okay. There's literally no more clues to find. So that's why I was thinking of getting rid of the camera because there's not. Maybe. But uh. I can't discover draw your encounter. Clues. It's fine. Attached Ooh, to an what? outsider enemy. He's an outsider. It is an outsider. Okay. It gets retaliation. Plus one fight and evade. After it's successfully evaded, discard it and draw hollow. It's okay. Okay. Um, I don't have a way, unfortunately, to... I can't... Oh, this guy's aloof anyways. I think I'm just going to run away from him. But we, need, no, to, I think I we need to be there to, to do the thing. To I put guess, the clue I there. That's what we're trying to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, if you want to try to run away from him, I can help you a little. No, no, he's a loof, so therefore, I'm not going to engage and evade him. I'm just going to. You're just going to punch him to death. Engage and punch him. Uh, let me go head over to where you're at. One, two. And then drop. Or what are you going to do for your last action? Yeah, I'll drop the thing. Your what? Oh, I said I'll, drop I'll, I'll drop the, the thing. Uh, let me copy. Boop. It's like a Christmas wonderland out there. Red and green. Okay. Uh, are you okay with taking a damage and horror from this guy attacking you? Because we're going to lose a hollow. Well, but you can just Look at the top him. of your deck. Wait, why, um, wouldn't, why wouldn't you just engage him and, and murder his face? Because I want to play Refine from my hand, which costs two actions. Oh, I also draw three cards. Oh, yeah, so you don't I have... Unless, unless you have a... Uh, I don't have a vicious blow. They're all vicious. in my discard. So, yeah, yeah. I'm just not going to attack. I'm going to spend two actions and three resources to play refine, and I get a free checkmark box on a customizable card I own. So I'm going to checkmark runic axe. Let's do ancient power so that because that's a good one. Uh, okay. Hold on. Hmm? So for guardian. Okay. So oh you yeah. Can, but the thing is, you, you can, can only can have only... A, a level one. You can yeah. You can only do that one. The next one you have to pick his glory. No cards that heal damage because this is a card that can technically heal damage. It can't heal run. damage until you get the one that heals the damage. You have to take oh, very well. inscription you know you know, of. I'll take, I'll take that one then. You have to take inscription, take inscription of, glory of glory as your second yeah. pip in it. I'll take it right now, actually. Okay. Why not? Okay. Okay. So then. Uh, enemy phase happens uh, at the end of your turn. Oh, at the end of your turn's location, so it's fine. Um, we have to set aside the top card of our deck as a hollow, and it attacks us. So I take a damage and a horror. Oh, so just, that, that uh, happens at the end of my turn, right? Yes. So you take a damage and a horror. No! And that goes away, yep. Yeah, as he falls off the edge. So I have one, two, three, four, five hollows. So I take a, a damage and a horror. Damage and a horror. Yeah, you could just lose William now. Yeah, <laughs> okay, and then at the end of the round, we advance. 
He's a liability uh, anyway. You lure out the predator when you advance, right? Yeah, at the end of any round. So before encounters, flip it over. Whoopsie, what'd you Well, it's, it's after upkeep. It's this one. This is 2 a. Yeah, yeah. Oh, after upkeep. So we should hit the upkeep button first. Yeah. yeah. And then four, four, get rid of you. One, two. Uh, I'll get rid of... The true face of Terra. After making what preparations you can, you wait around a campfire. Your very presence in this territory makes you a prime lure for whatever awful predator stalks these woods. Soon enough, you hear a twig snap and see a, multi a multitude of glowing eyes watching you from the trees. Spawn the void chimera, true form, in the shadows. And resolve its concealed keyword. Distributing each of those concealed mini cards as evenly as possible among wilderness locations in play. Okay, so we don't actually spawn it yet. We spawn well, you you, you you spawn the the. Oh yeah, yeah. The it's card. In the card is in the thing. And True then chimera, which concealed this, four. And you this, cannot expose this, any concealed mini cards while its chimera's other forms are in play. Uh. Okay. After you expose its decoy, find the set aside version of it with the matching subtitle and spawn it. And the subtitles are all just versions of it that are very annoying. But fortunately, since we scouted everything, we know exactly where it is. You want it like this? Or yeah, I guess. And then we just look at all of them, right? Without. Well, we have to. In we have to do the the thing where we look at them. Yeah. If we each location with a scouting report, you may look at the revealed site that, that just placed at that location. So we look at this one. Hello, decoy. True form. Decoy. 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 Okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to shuffle it. I bet you we're going to shuffle it. Oh, yeah, for we'll... sure. Um, the shifting chimeric form of the paradimensional beast flits in and out of view. It is playing games with you, much like a cat plays with a mouse. If you can expose its true form, perhaps you can turn the game on its head and banish it once and for all. Okay. Uh, and then one doom encounters. This is gone. Oh man, all these other cards that attach to your location. If you end your turn here, you lose a card as a hollow. Okay. I think we should just run away from these guys. He's a hunter though, isn't he? Yeah. They'll come to us eventually. Oh, but it's only so if you end if it's only if you end your turn at that place. So even if he like moves into your location, he doesn't do anything. Oh, that's actually good then, yeah. Yeah. Your encounter. Uh my encounter. Oh. It's an emissary from Yaga. He's concealed too. He's a hunter and he's massive. Um, so concealed search. Here he be. And how many is he? Concealed two. So we add two decoys. Uh -huh. And then where do we put these? Uh, one. They have to go on my location and locations attached to them. So they go here and here. We'll shuffle those. And then one here and then one. Okay, so we have to hope that he's at one of these two. I'll try and find it. So how do you find I mean, it? Oh, you have to fight the location. Okay, You have to fight the, lo the location, shroud, or investigate it. Or we can just go and, and fight the bad guy. Because we do we do only have four turns. Four turns. And how much That's health does this guy have? He's got eight. eight health. And I can't help you at all with it. So, But he's a victory point. The emissary okay. from Yuggeth. He He is. Well, well, we'll do what we can. All right, so hold on. There's two of them here, so we'll put those there. Okay, uh, my turn. Well, we're, we're not, I don't, well, I guess you might do it, but, yeah. We know he's there for sure. Okay, we should reveal him. Okay, we'll get him low. We'll get him low, so. Uh, okay, so since I'm going to fight this guy, can you at least try to find the uh, emissary from Yuga? In fact, you could fight him with all the evidence you have. <laughs> Yeah, because you'll be in one fight if you. I could be like, look at this picture I took. Look at this picture I took. <laughs> so I spend three actions to go straight there. That's just my turn. I'm done. Oh, Jessica Hyde heals one. Okay. Um. So just try and check these two concealed things, please. Do not wait, check. Wait. So you your turn. Your turn's over, right? Yeah. Just move and that's it. <laughs> uh, so I will move here. And oh, then we I... get an extra action because of Thorn. I forgot about that. Oops. Oh, well, that was last turn. Because of what? If you set us cards aside as a hollow, you get an extra action. Oh, Immediate yeah. action. You I you do. Yeah. Uh, no, it's um any investigator. Oh, at your location. But you have to yeah. exhaust it. So it's only one thing. Um. Okay, I will... Oh, wait, I have a thing. After I fail a skill test while location with a concealed mini card. You'll be uh... fine, you big baby. 
I'll I'll do six v two. Invest in my gate. Uh, maybe I don't know how many hazards. Are how there? many hazards? There's only one, two, three, three hazards. So it's minus three. You're fine. Wait, which so... which one's a hazard? Only only the uh c cracking ice and actually just two. Never mind. Okay. That's what I was confused about. Six minus two is four. So you got plus two. Okay. So you could flip this over. Oh, it's him. It's him. <laughs> he's here. I found he's him. Hunter is he's massive too. Uh can't okay, so what there. does that mean his other decoy cards go away? It doesn't. No, right? it does not. They stay around until all of the decoy cards go away. Or until all of the things go away. Okay. Um, you have one action left. You could evade him if you're a little afraid of fighting him. He does one and one. I mean, I am a little afraid of fighting him. He, does he... He's just a hunter and massive. And after you discover a clue at a location, if he's in the shadows, it attacks you. Okay, but there's no, there's literally no clues out, so that does nothing. I can oh, just by the way, you could have taken a photo of any of these guys. Uh, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> It's too late. Sure. One action left. What do you do? Do you fight him or do you evade? Uh, I'll I'll fight him. Why not? Okay. So you um, fight him at a two versus a three right now. Uh, we'll do a. We'll get rid of this one to do okay, a. So now it's a two versus a one. Two v one. You did it. Yes. You punch him. You're like, look at his photo, and he's like, what is that? And you look at his photograph. <laughs> Okay, uh, enemy phase. Not he hits Nickelback, you for one. Back, no, like... take a damage and a horror. Okay, ow. And then upkeep. I take a horror because I already did it. Okay, and I have to throw away a card. Let's throw away a runic axe. And then uh, two five encounters. Crypt chill. I would lose my hollowed mirror, I suppose, but. Enters play. It doesn't have a disadvantage if it leaves play, funny enough, right? Uh, I mean, you do have to put them back in, like, they... they, they... Oh, when Hollow Mirror leaves play, it yeah. says here, you're right, I have to lose my soothing melodies. Okay. Uh, testing a three versus a four. Sure. You okay, failed. nothing I can do to stop that. Uh, I'll lose my... I have my runic axe. Should I just lose my bone saw? Hell yeah, you should. <laughs> I mean, taking damage is really nice. You know what? I like this book. But the enemy is going to deal damage to you, too, so... I'll Once lose you... my hollow mirror. I don't need a heal. I'm, I'm fine. I lose my soothing melodies. Let me grab them. Soothing melody. And is one of them in the discard? Or where's the other last one? Soothe. I think it's in my discard. Nope. Where did I put my last soothing melody? Oh, it's it's a hollow. <laughs> Wait. So that's removed from the game. Oh, it's removed from the game. Awesome. <laughs> I lose a hollow. Okay, so that's gone. Your turn. Or your encounter. Uh, My my turn? Your encounter. Or no, my encounter. encounter. Okay. Cracking ice. Oh, well, now we have to test four boots. I don't. Wait. Uh Oh, each investigator wilderness and you're not. I'm, I mean, I'm at the town. <laughs> like... Each who fails has to take a damage, a horror, or an action, lose an action for each point they fail by. I can yeah. take some damage. It's fine. Testing a one versus a four. Obviously, I failed by four. Minus um, two. So Wait, I, minus I failed three. by four. So I have to take... Uh, I will take a one, two, three, and then take a damage on Jessica. Okay. So you don't want to take two damage on Jessica? Uh, no, because I'm gonna take damage on it with bone. So, in fact, you know what? I'm just gonna give him the damage and horror. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, well, actually, no. I could transfer it later. I should do it to Jessica at minimum. All right, I'll go first if that's all right. Bloop. Wait okay. a sec. I have to attack a shroud of six. Yep. Oh, that sucks. Okay, I'm gonna attack it with bone saw. Let's commit overpower to this and on the mend. So I'm fighting at a. Four, five, v six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten v six. Ten against a six. So that's good enough. Minus two. The void chimera is not on my location now. <laughs> so I succeed. I draw a card because of overpower, and on the men goes out of play. And you flip and the face up. I reveal. <gasps> it's, it's the a void, void chimera, chimera. But which means we advance. It, it's exposed. So advance the act. Okay. Whoa. 
Put Outsider's Lair into play and move Void Chimera and each investigator at its location to it. Where is this? This is just... It's this just is just nowhere. in the corner. <laughs> wow! That's me in the corner. That's me at the uh, Outsider's Lair. Wait, you pray it hold on. You with its own lair. The alien beast unveils itself in all its otherworldly grandeur looming over you in myriad amorphous forms. The location where Void Chimera was exposed is connected to outside lair, but not vice versa. So I can't leave after I'm in here. Oh, but it's it's connected, connected one, yeah, way. one way. One way. Okay, uh, sure. And if it's defeated, advance the act. So, okay, yes. hold on. What's it say? While this has no clues on it, it gets minus one fight and evade, which is nice. Okay. Um... Second action, I'm going to fight this thing with my bone saw. That's a five versus a four. And I'm going to spend one resource and play Practice Makes Perfect. Look at the top nine cards of my deck for a Practice card. And here we go. I'm going to commit my, whoopsie, uh, Vicious Blow to this thing. I'll also uh, commit a Jessica Hyde on this too, I guess, because I don't need it. So I'm fighting at a five, six, six against the four. Okay. Hey, yeah. Minus what? Zero? Um, one, There's no hazards. No That's hazards. not a hazard. Yep. It's a pretty okay. nice world we live in. <laughs> I'm going to take a damage. Oh, and... uh, last turn, this guy should have moved into my location, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I should have... So you don't want to end your turn here, if possible. Looked at this Although one. you might have to, because you want to kill this guy, maybe. Wait, oh, wait. why'd you oh, follow? No. Oh, no, that's only, only at the end, end of the your... turn. Okay. Okay, okay. So I'm going to take a damage, and with Vicious Blow, I do three damage to this guy. How much health does he have? Eight? He's got eight. Okay, I'm going to attack again. I'm going to play another... Oh, this is in my hand. Practice makes perfect. Search the top nine cards for a practice skill. Uh. Okay, this is the only one I have. I'm going to commit a Vicious Blow. Let's commit another Vicious Blow to this. Jesus. And let's throw away a runic axe for this. I think I'm just going to go for the... I'm not going to kill him, but I'm fighting at a six, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? Yeah, I threw away a runic axe. 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 against 4. Hiya! I did it. I'm not drawing any of the tablets, fortunately. So <laughs> I do, I'll take another damage on Jessica Hyde, and I do... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 damage? Is it 4 seven? damage to it. So it's one, it has one, 1 HP left. <laughs> and I'll come and show him a picture or something, and he'll die. We'll, we'll kill this thing and try to get the uh the. I'll say you're not here. real. <laughs> we need victory points because we need it early. Vicious blow, vicious blow goes in my hand, and then at the end of my turn, Jessica Hyde heals a damage, and I get on the mend in my hand, and then we and my turn is done. Your turn. Okay. Um, I I guess I'm gonna try and fight this guy three times. Sure. Tick, tick, that'll kill him, right? That'll kill him, maybe. Possible. Well, he does come to our location over time. I'm gonna you fight are... him. Bang. Okay. Uh, I need to show two v one, right? Two v three or two v one, yeah. Because you use an evidence. Yeah. Uh, failure. I'm lucky. Hooray! He takes the damage. You have two actions left. Uh, yep. This is gonna get. This is a lot harder now because I don't actually have lucky. Um, anymore. In which case, why not just lead him to me because he's a hunter? I'm gonna then fight him. him. Okay. 2v1, 3v1. Um, that's the best I can do. 3v1. You it did it. Says, I'll get back. One lucky. HP left. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fight him again. 3v1. Uh, actually, I'm gonna get well, it doesn't matter. 3v1, yeah. Uh, failure. I'm lucky. <laughs> he dies. Look at that tower. Uh, lose a card as a hollow and take a damage in a horror. Okay. Um. Oh no! At the top of your deck. My oh, bad. Okay. He discards from the top of your deck. No, I don't do that. Oh yeah. So yeah, you can't do that. Okay. Does it just go back on top? No. Um. Yes. Set it. Yeah. If it's not a weakness, so it just you're gonna draw it. Okay. Which means you're gonna lose your charges on Hawkeye. I'm, oh. I'm gonna be so dumb after this turn. <laughs> <laughs> Enemy phase. I take a damage and a horror from this guy. Jessica Hyde takes a damage. I'll take a horror and then upkeep. Oh, you also took a damage and horror at the end of your turn. I, I, I did. I did. Um, I'm at a crossroads. 
Do I want to give you an extra action so you can get over here, or should I draw three cards? I don't need to be over there. You just need to kill him. No, no, no. We need to get the clues here so we get an extra victory point, because we need early victory points. Oh, yeah. So should I give you an extra action or just draw three cards? You should give me an extra action. Okay, so you, you get this, and then you use get an extra. So take an immediate action right now. Like, first, uh, and then you... Uh, yeah, then you I'm, a I'm actually... When I discard my token... Oh, you're so dumb! I'm so okay. dumb. <laughs> Back to two brains. Uh, I'll discard this card. Immediate act. Random. No. Oh, that's the random discard? I mean, you do it yeah. after, but I sure. don't think it matters. Yeah, My yeah, action is move here. Okay. Uh, and then... Like, we he's not... Had... He's aloof, so he doesn't do attacks, so... Yeah. Encounters. Okay, well, I have a paracostal entity on me. When it engages me, I lose... My top card becomes a hollow. My catalog. No, okay. <laughs> that magazine's cursed. A snow slide. Uh, test three. Yeah, feet. Uh... If you fail this, although you can use an evidence if you want to try to succeed, I could also heal you if you get over here. But three v three. You know what? I can do. I can do these. So three, four, v three, four v three. Or be you're not going to spend an evidence to make it nope. easy? Okay, you I take a direct it. damage. I take a damage. Um, okay. Uh, what did what did, was yours? I'm going to take a picture of it. Huh? Oh, this thing. Sure. Ah. <laughs> oh, all right. Should you go first or me? This guy is massive, uh, so I need him to be evaded. But I don't have a stunning blow or anything to evade him, so that's the problem. Um... One, two. And then you go in and evade it, maybe? One, two, evade. If you fail to evade it, I'll just kill it, because then you'll die. Yeah, that's, that seems good. One, two, boop, boop. And he's uh, here. Uh, and he is... I'll minus two it with my only evidence. <laughs> so you're evading at a three... Three v two. Versus, uh, oh, hold on, I'll commit a backpack to this. Four v two. Success! He's evaded. Thank you. He's, he'd be evaded. Okay, that was my turn. Right, I'm going to stab this wounded bystand. No, I mean the Paracoscal entity. <laughs> I can't... He's in my threat area for so long. <laughs> I'm going to stab him at He's a... He's been dying for weeks. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to commit a on the men to this. Uh, why not? Because just I'll get it back. 5v... 7v3. Uh, should I Vicious Blow? I mean, I might as well because I don't need to take the damage. Yeah, I'll not stab my... So I'll commit Vicious Blow. Um, let me put these up here. So four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, eight, eight against three. nine. Ooh, minus five. Success. Uh, he takes two damage. This goes out of play. He takes, and he dies. I have two actions left. We do want to pick up these clues, if possible. What happened to your smoking pipe? Is it gone already? It became a hollow when I drew a card that, uh, made, oh, turned no. it into a hollow. Yeah, that was a problem. But, I mean, I think I'll be fine. I can, I can kill these two people before I get defeated by horse. So I'm going to investigate here at a four versus a four. Hi -ya! Why are you investigating? Because I'm lucky. Okay. Uh, I get a clue. And then I just draw a card for my last action because I got nothing. Oh, wait. Can you investigate again, actually? I'm at I'll your location, right? At a four versus, yeah, a four versus a four. Um, I will give you a plus two. Okay. So six against four. Minus zero? One? How many hazards? There's none. No. So minus zero. Success. I get another clue. Look at that. I'm helping. Yeah, we just need to get these last two clues and we're done. Upkeep. Uh, well, up we need to get last two clues and then punch him. And then True. we're done. Uh, Doom, four of five. We got to do it this go. turn. <laughs> yeah, You're we in do. First. Uh, for each set-aside copy you own... Uh, or you one or more copies I don't play. have any copies of those. You because took both no copies, Jessica's hides back? Yeah, I, I ran over and grabbed her from Anchorage. But you so had two the other one was discarded. Oh, was it discarded? Okay. It was discarded. So therefore, if no cards are discarded by this effect, choose a non-weakness card you control in your hand or play area and set it aside. I'll get rid of my refine because I already used it. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, uh, she healed last turn, which means on the mend is in my hand. Okay. That's not in the hollow. That's just in the yeah, hollow. yeah. Um. Okay. My my encounter. Please don't kill me. It's a grizzly bear. Uh, Nearest wilderness location. So this we actually spawned over here. 
Uh, that technically this not because this is not locate. This is not next to this. This can spawn any wilderness location. Oh, okay. Well, let's I put think, him uh, right because this this he can't enter a wilderness location anyways. But let's just put him over here. <laughs> I don't. I don't know that this is the nearest one because like he, this doesn't go anywhere. Like I can't get back. Yeah, here. yeah. And plus, this isn't a wilderness location I... anyway. He can't even spawn in here. Oh, that's true. Um, so it doesn't. This guy's so a we'll, non-threat. We'll, we'll, we'll put him. We'll put him there. Sure. He, he's irrelevant. Um, I'll okay. go first. I, yeah, I can't. So you need to pick up. Oh wait, but he's, he's massive. He'll attack me if I investigate. Yeah, so you have to evade him. So I do have to evade him, and I can't really evade him. A three versus a four. <laughs> I don't have anything to help. Um, I could. Here's the. I could do my turn first, right? Hold on. But the problem. I know is what I'll do. I can't I'll take a him. picture of that bear. What? Okay. <laughs> That's not going to help. Okay. Continue. Okay. <laughs> I'll take a picture of that. Bear. I think what? Just evade him and just hope you get a plus one or a star because there's nothing else you can do? Um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I can do a plus. I can do a plus one, but that's it. Four versus four. It's not the best odds, but we'll give it a shot. Four v four to evade. Failure. Dang. Are you lucky? No. <laughs> evade him again. Uh, I'll evade him again. Uh, try it again. <laughs> I'll evade him again. Damn it! Who uh, could have foreseen this outcome? All right, we'll murder I'll him. I'll stab him with on the mend. Uh, fighting okay. at a seven versus a four. Hiya! Failure. Uh oh. Um, am I gonna? F Are we gonna fucking die? <laughs> uh, I mean, you got five v four. That's better than nothing. Oh wait, you retaliate. Oh no, he doesn't, he doesn't retaliate. Good. I'll stab. He doesn't attack. I'll attack him again. Five v four. That scared me for a sec. Damn it! I'll attack no. him again. Five v four. Yes. yes! <laughs> <laughs> this is the second game we played where the last action of the game was, I'll was take actually a six I'm actions instead. Do plus one damage. Yeah, this guy's just. Why won't you heal me, doctor? Doctor, please! I've been following you through the wilderness for days. <laughs> That was crazy. All, All right. right. Uh, what, what, what happens? As you land a final blow, the shifting violent thing collapses into itself with a noisome cacophony and a sudden suction of air. As its form crumbles, the strange other world around you also begins to disintegrate, and you find yourself drawn back to reality in a rush of static and ozone. And ozone. Um, right in the hands of a bear. He's, if he's not in play, I could have killed him. Yeah, you could have. But resolution three. Resolution. Okay, so re no, it's resolution one. Oh no, resolution one, one. We have him in play. So yeah. Um, don't worry about that. Resolution one. A scent of ozone hisses out of the closing tear in reality as your surroundings come back into view. You are back in Alaska, where the chimeric entity pulled you into its lair. As you stand up, Thorn pulls out a handkerchief to wipe slick extra dimensional blood off of its off of their sleeve. They cock an eyebrow at you. Uh, go ahead. Uh, oh, wait, where was I? What were, was happening? Oh, uh, perhaps I was wrong about you foundation taps. If nothing else, you know how to hold your own in a fight. Though I would recommend you reconsider your stance on my fellow Coterie brethren and myself. I do not believe I am the only member of the Coterie who is willing to put aside petty differences in the face of such. They pause, and in that moment you sense Thorn's age and gravity. Such a monumental creases. With that, Thorn smiles and swiftly turns on their heel. Pleasure doing business with you, and rest assured I will not forget our agreement. They pat the sable glass in their breast pocket and stride away into the wilderness. We gain victory X. Uh, and then... Thorn is the bearer of the sable eye. Hold on, let me, let me write that down. The sable eye... Um, the glass, sable here it glass. is. And then we write Thorn... What's his last name? Thorn. It's just Thorn. Like it's just Madonna. Thorn. Okay, Thorn is, and is it? I don't know. Mark three yeah. time in the campaign log, and we may embark. So one, two. What happens when it reaches a marker? Because we're at A. Uh, then we go read A. Okay, so then. Uh, before we second. before we do that, let's let's mark down how much XP we have, and then we'll we'll go read that. So okay. So what um, was our victory? Uh, anything on the board that's a victory? Oh, the hunter's lodge is a victory. 
And Isolated Road is also a victory. And I think that's it, right? Mm -hmm. So we get... Oh, man. One, two, three, four, five victory points. Five victory points, not bad. I have... And wait, why are you at eight? Oh, because I minus lost two. two from the oath. Okay, okay. Because so I was so I gained... curious about all these pictures I've been taking. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, sure, okay. sure. Um, so now we go to the appendices, which I think. Hold on. Let me go to the table of contents. Uh, status reports. 69. Nice. I'll never what? forget. Uh, status report alpha. As your travels continue, the Foundation receives more and more reports of strange disappearances. With each new dossier you read, you worry that if only a matter of time before there is nothing left, add a cultist token to the chaos bag. We're running out of time. Back to page. Okay, three. so... I'm going to take your sable the Eye of Ravens back um, and put it... Oh, I already have a copy next to him. We're not putting this in the chaos bag. <laughs> I completely called out, you are totally going to forget about this. And I then did. we didn't play for a week. And then you did. Mm -hmm. And I did too. <laughs> you okay. put it in a gun! <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm just going to save it that way, okay? I, it'll, be a, it'll be its own... I don't have to put little secrets in the bag anymore. The game... It'll do it for us. Well, uh, oh, come on. <laughs> okay, so we got we got to talk about where we're going to go next, which is going to be exciting. So San Francisco, so 26. I guess we can look at these to see if there's, like, a thing there. So there's not well, a thing there. So just can make a surprise. Uh, so I, th I think we should hold off until we do the next session, right? Well, I think we should talk a little bit about where we want to go next. Like, what's the next look? Actually... This one, we're under. We're, we gotta head we're, to San Francisco. Oh, yeah, we're under two hours. Do you want to just head to San Francisco now? Sure. Okay. Uh, so we'll go to twenty six. Let me pull that up. Uh, we had another time in our time catalog. Oh, what's this? Twenty six. Okay. Uh, if you're at San Francisco, go to quid pro quo one. A quid, set of ups. Quid quid pro quo. Let's read the dossier. Quid thing pro first. quo. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, read this at any time. Class green. Sanctum locations. Where's where's the location town? Oh, or, or am I um, doing the blanks? I don't know. We could say whatever. Just whatever comes to your mind. Under your bathroom. All right. <laughs> and in so, your closet. San Francisco, California. McDonald's. Wendy's. <laughs> Moscow, Russia. The moon. Jupiter. <laughs> Earth. And nowhere at all. And in your heart. <laughs> in your heart. Uh, Sanctum 26. Although... A one through six are foundation offices and storehouses for paradimensional artifacts. Do not disclose locations of sanctums with non-foundation personnel under penalty of Cancer. being tickled. <laughs> Approach procedure. Agent in charge of sanctum will meet you upon revival. Entry instructions attached. Okay. Right. Well, let's, let's go. go. A set of obscure and overly complex instructions. Wait, hold on. You if you we're in San Francisco, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A set of obscure and overly complex instructions leads you to a drab two-story stone building on the edge of San Francisco's Chinatown neighborhood. Inside, a bored attendant slumps behind a desk near a brass elevator. Punching a specific code, the elevator takes a deep underground, takes you deep underground, farther than you could have predicted. On what's so funny? I don't know. He said punching a code, so I just imagined him like punching the elevator, like work, dang you, work. On uh, 14th floor, you step out and the, are the negative by... 14th. Negative 14, or 14 F, you step out and are greeted by an imposing man in a well tailored suit and black fedora. Archibald Hudson, we met in London. He reminds you. Your cell is quite the talk around the office. The agent leads you down a seemingly endless hallway lined with alcoves. Each alcove displays something different a model of a hollow earth, a crystal skull, a map with ley lines, and other unknown markings. All you the pause Indiana Jones things. <laughs> you pause and look at a half eaten ear of corn still steaming. Uh, from what I hear, that corn's been cooked to perfection for the last two decades. So, uh, so's the dame who was eating it. 
Uh, Agent Hudson says grimly, looking at the paradimensional relics gives you a headache. Your eyes struggle to focus on them. They are both there and not there at the same time. Hudson ushers you down a side hall into a boxy room crammed with metal filing cabinets and sits down behind a heavy wooden desk. He speaks into a ring and spring microphone. File number 26, G2, interview conducted by Hudson to Archibald. Designation 42A6-951. That's Agent Hudson to you. He arches an eyebrow. Over the next several hours, you answer a gauntlet of grueling questions about your experience thus far, ranging from the past day to your, ex past day to your experience in London. When it's all done, Agent Hudson leads back and lights a cigarette. I'll admit I was skeptical, skeptical? I was skeptical about you from the start, but Commissioner Taylor has good instincts, and I haven't seen them steer her wrong yet. He says. You've done good work so far. We have some intel and some resources that might be useful for you. Tell me what the Foundation can do for you. Okay. We'd like to get around faster, which means we get to add a copy of Expedited Ticket to their deck. You may embark. Ooh. We'd like some supplies where each investigator earns an experience. Or we'd like some intel on Subject 11B. Skip to quid pro quo. Quo. <laughs> quo. Like I know, quote? I just love saying it wrong. Choose this option only if you have not yet visited Marrakesh. Where's Marrakesh? Marrakesh That's is... We have over there. Um, yeah. It's in Africa. So yeah, we haven't gone there yet. Okay, so what's an expedited ticket do? Can we find that? Um, No, I don't think so. Well, how do we know what it does? I mean, I'm sure if we pick it, then it'll take it. I mean, do we want to go around faster? That would be nice. Add a My... copy of it to our deck. My... So... Oh, to their deck. Yeah, that's what expert. You know what? I'm gonna pull it up on. What's it called? It's not even on Arkham DB. <laughs> it's not even on there. Yeah, we have to. We have to decide before. Well, no. We usually get to look at the card beforehand. No, that's no, not no. Fair. We we get to decide. Do do you want to move around faster, or do we want an well, experience? From these or... choices, the one I I would love the experience, but I honestly think we need subject on. 11B, is that one of the things we have to... Oh, it is! It's yeah, in it's, Marrakesh. It's in Marrakesh. So we get information on subject B. Like, information's good, but but experience, too. Also... But one XP, that's that's barely anything. I, th I, I want to guess that the expedited ticket is, like, you can use it once to travel from anywhere to anywhere else with no time or, like, only one time. That's my that guess. That seems useful. Yeah, that seems really useful. Should we get the, the ticket? I want to. I want sub intel on subject eleven B. But okay, well you can have that. No, one. no, no. I mean, I mean, but the XP. Hold on, we got five experience. That if we yeah. get six, that's like that's like <laughs> twenty percent more. <laughs> Ooh, it's tempting. It's tempting. Yeah. Um. It's like twenty percent. You know, <laughs> when you say it like that, it sounds like a lot. Yeah, right. Like. I think I think we I, I think we don't do the XP. I think we do one of the other two. But like, you don't I, do expedited ticket. No, no. I'm saying we like expedited ticket does not give you an XP. So do you like it's ticket XP or info on Marrakesh. And you wanted info on Marrakesh, and I wanted ticket. And last time I wanted Anchorage, and you wanted something else. So we can go with with the quid pro quo. We could go with the the information on Marrakesh. But you don't want the XP at all? I, I I think out of the three options, it's the least interesting. Okay. Um... Like, and probably, it's probably fine. It's probably a good choice. But when do I make good choices? I want an interesting choice. <laughs> well, I'll I want to know them. what the ticket okay. is, or I want to know what the info is. Like, let, let, Well, I want to get the ticket, I'm, I'm thinking now, but... It's up to you. Because like, if it's between those two choices, I'm like, eh, maybe we can get the ticket. I'm I'm gonna say it's between Look. those two, and then you can pick which one you want. No, no, no. You know what? Fine. We're gonna we're gonna get intel on subject eleven B. Okay. Okay. So, we'll so we, go we go to pro number three. All right. Agent Hudson flips through some files and pulls out an updated dossier similar to the one in your possession, but much thicker. Subject number eleven B calls herself Amaranth, but this is not the first Amaranth the Foundation has encountered. She pops back up every few decades, looking completely different each time. This iteration bears a striking resemblance to a former student of a Miskatonic University in Massachusetts. Uh, Irwin Cockwin was her name, because <laughs> that's a funny last name. She's <laughs> been missing for some time. You wonder aloud if it might be a coincidence. 
No, there's no such thing as coincidences in our line of work. Okay, so we know... Amaranth's real name. Amaranth's real name. So that probably will come in handy when we go to 11B. I would say you I may... would say put put number like put number 11 on there too, just so we know what that's from because we'll forget. Okay, number 11. Okay. And then we may embark. So let's go now to. You want to go to Yabor City and then Havana? Um. We could do that, but that that just is like all of North America in one go. I know. I think that's fine. And then we're just gonna pass by them from now on. Well, I mean, like... so the thing is, is that going to either of these means we do are are we definitely gonna waste a day going to San Juan or or Quito? Oh, even? we have to. I I think we have to want to stop by these places anyways. I think we should just take them out of you know. Right, but we can always we can always come when, back to it. Like that's yeah. Thing. When you go to a place that's. Oh wait, no, it's not. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. I, I think we should just visit these, get some more things out of place. So let's. Are you sure you don't want to just to go to Tokyo? I don't want to go to Tokyo. I'd love to go to Tokyo in life, but no, we're going to Yabor City. <laughs> okay. Uh, fifty-two, right? Boop. What's that number after it? Or, actually, oh, do you want to check these to see if there's like dossiers for them, and then we can decide from that? Okay, fifty-two says. Okay, so we can read this part. Is an abandoned cigar factory in Ybor City, north of McKay Bay. Subject twenty eight I is known to frequent sanctum. Be on alert. Enter with caution and search for signs of paradimensional implements. Take and any all evidence from the foundation custodies. So uh, Havana one, is twenty eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One one of the reasons I don't want to just go to these places because they're like happen to be on the way is because when we went to Bermuda, there was a thing that mentioned like if you've gotten information on Bermuda. So I don't want to go to places that are like if well, you we have, have no idea which places will lead to which places so therefore i just well want to i mean efficient. we do have an idea of which places will lead to to campaign stuff like to like an actual mission but that's i it. suppose because of the dossier um, this one's uh at what is it havana yeah this is havana so class uh, yellow real identity delgado alvarez desiderio Delgado Alvarez Desiderio. <laughs> yep. okay. I'm just reading underneath it afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Um, here and after, man in blood-soaked suit or Desiderio Delgado Alvarez is a man of Cuban descent, approximately 42 years old and 129 centimeters in height, typically seen in a black suit, accessorized with apparent coterie paraphernalia, including a tie and hat, all with red accents. Paradimensional capabilities. Man in blood-soaked suit does not appear to possess any extraordinary powers aside from peak inhuman physical performance and unusually high skill and accuracy with firearms. Cyborg enhanced feet approach with caution uh sightings mr alvarez is a longtime resident of havana however no records exist pertaining to subjects childhood or early life likely destroyed upon in induction into cotaria but possibility remains of incompetent uh, secretary <laughs> there you go, yeah. either way his identity may be an alias mr alvarez is known to be a frequent a, to frequent a nightclub known as cafe luna uh, note, Foundation has no knowledge pertaining, pertaining to any key in Havana. However, Mr. Alvarez is likely to know locations of other keys. Ooh. Mm. Um, approach procedure. Open negotiations with subjects to acquire location of coterie vaults and or hideouts. If he does not cooperate, subdue and interrogate. More information available in Moscow office. Moscow office? Uh, that's over here. Uh, that's too uh, far. So... You just check out Tokyo, maybe? 37? Oh, yeah, yeah. 37. What's in Tokyo? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. See current. Or it's, a, it's a file number 37M. Asset name Taylor Kiana. Current uh, assignment Tokyo, Japan. Lagos, Nigeria. Is that a place we have to visit? Nigeria. Lagos. Uh, well, that's. La Lagos is here. 37. What the heck? That's so pointless. Yeah, we so do we a, have to visit Lagos first, possibly? Let's look at. La I'm yeah. not. I'm not reading every one of these. No, things. no, we shouldn't. Think... We shouldn't read any all of them. But like of the ones that we have, I think Havana's more interesting. But then that, that like we have to go straight up if we want to go to Yabor City afterwards. I think we should so? still check them out. Like there's None nothing. Of, but wrong this doesn't with matter though, because what, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go to San Juan and then Rio de Janeiro, right? Possibly. So we should go to Yabor City anyways. So like, 
Why not just go to Havana, then Ybor, then... I mean, it doesn't matter which one we do first. I mean, I guess, fine. We'll go to Havana first. God, yeah, we're just fighting over the pilot uh, controls of this airplane. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to go We're gonna go here. That's our next destination. Um, okay. In the meantime, uh, we'll go ahead and say goodbye <laughs> for this episode, I think. Right, Tao? Yeah, we'll say again? Is it we're going to say goodbye for this episode? Oh, are we at the two-hour mark or something? Yeah. This... Okay, fine, fine. I think it's a good time to, to end. Well, because that, that one's also going to be a mission, right? All right, fine. Isn't it 28? It's 28 one? 28? Yeah, 28th one. So, um, yeah, I'll say the things we say at the end of the episode, like you push the buttons. Just blah, all blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> Tao, do you have any words of wisdom? Um... I don't actually have much. Do you have a words of wisdom? Uh, yes. My word of wisdom today is sanctuary. Sanctuary. That has been today's word of wisdom. <laughs> what kind of word of wisdom is that? Uh, how, is it a, how is it a wisdom word? It's four syllables. Hmm. Okay, you know, what? you know what? I've got I've got a words of oh, no, we're not going okay. I've got a words of wisdom then, okay? Okay, okay. All right. Uh <laughs> Eagles may soar, but weasels don't get sucked into jet engines. So don't be so don't be an eagle. Don't be a weasel. <laughs> so so wait, what? Then you won't get sucked into a jet engine. So be a weasel, you're saying? Yes. But weas but weasels get sneezels. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>